on Sports Channel any night of the week for exciting sports action. It's over center. The pass to Kelly. will kick off. Gilmore cutting in on Watt. He scores! Witness excitement on ice with more than 50 NHL regular season games plus unprecedented coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. It's a race, and Ismail is gone. Cut down, Notre Dame. Follow the Notre Dame tradition with a full slate of Fighting Irish sports featuring top-ranked football and basketball. Climb into the ring every week with the Sports Channel Pro Boxing Tour. It's a knockout. Tune in to Sports Nightly for up-to-the-minute scores, highlights, and news before and after every event. And there's more, including the National Federation High School Game of the Week, Daily Thoroughbred Racing, the Boston Marathon, Professional Tennis, Top College Basketball Action, and International Amateur Events. Turn on Sports Channel for exciting sports. Live, welcome back to Notre Dame Stadium. And Notre Dame football on Sports Channel, the Irish meeting the Naval Academy, third consecutive home game for Notre Dame. And the weather is much more typical of November here than last week's game against Pittsburgh. It is 44 degrees and much more so than the temperature. The wind is what may play a factor in the game right now. Very strong wind blowing straight from the south. And that could hamper passing and kicking right now. A group of officials from the Collegiate Independence Football Association assigned to today's game. Led by referee Joe Shirk. Notre Dame won the toss and deferred to the second half. So Navy has elected to take the football first with Jerry Dawson and B.J. Mason back to receive the kick. Notre Dame's Craig Hendrick will put it with the win. Absolutely. That's 15 mile an hour win right to left on your screen. Notre Dame will have it in the first quarter. And Hendrick's boot gets us underway. And it will kick. carry Dawson three yards deep. And he'll touch it down and Navy will start at the 20-yard line. Two teams now have the longest continuous intersectional rivalry in college football going 63rd straight year. 25 years in a row, Notre Dame has won. The closest Navy came to winning was 84. John Carney had to kick a field goal in the final minute to win for Notre Dame. Right tackle move. And junior Alton Grizzard cannot get the play going as immediately a flag is thrown. Mike Kircher, the big offensive right tackle move before the ball. Here you watch Navy set up offensively, Paul, because they're a wishbone team. One of the things fans will notice, that offensive line will take great wide splits. Absolutely, and that's good. Spreads out that defense a little bit. If they're quick enough to cut off the defense in the gap, it'll help. And making his first start for the midshipman, B.J. Mason, the ball carrier. And Scott Kowalkowski, the tackler for the Irish after a gain of three. Mason, only a sophomore from Valdez to Georgia. 5'9", 196 pounds. Usalak liked what he saw last week, even in that loss against James Madison. Brad, I mean, uh, Mason gained 34 yards and only four carries. Second and 12. Navy now shifting into an eye, and they have thrown a bit more this year than they would have expected out of this eye formation. Option. Now Grizzard runs the option on the pitch. The man turning the corner and is out near the 30-yard line. Rodney Purifoy, who is tied with Grizzard as the leading ball carrier on this team at 371 yards, gains good yardage to the 28 at least Navy with third and two that's the same defensive alignment that we've seen for Notre Dame all year long there's Andre Jones Am Zorich in the middle of the nose tackle Dahl and Kowalkowski defensive backfield intact with Todd Light leading that defense with seven interceptions now it's third and two for Navy at their 28 and they run the fullback and I don't think he got there the carry was Kwame Moultrie starting at fullback. He is a freshman for Navy, and I don't believe he made the first down. Very close. He's going to come up just a few inches short. And that is literally inches. That ball 
probably two to three inches short of the first down, and Navy will be forced to punt immediately. This is sophomore Jeff Triplett to do the punting, and Ricky Waters is the deep back for Notre Dame. And Triplett, and you see the wind just knocking that ball down as he got up there, and Waters takes a fair catch at the Irish 36. So after getting into a first and 15 hole, Navy came within inches of the first step. Said the Irish forced the punt, and with no score early in the first quarter here at Notre Dame Stadium, Lou Holtz hoping this is a record-setting day for the Irish as we pause for a regional break. The National Hockey League, Notre Dame Sports, and the Pro Boxing Tour, only on the Sports Channel America Network. This is Sonny Bear, and I love him. Sonny Bear. Wow. A gift to you from the Chicago Sun-Times in time for Christmas. Sunny Bear plays music. Yours free with a 16-week subscription to the Sun-Times. News that's compelling, provocative, award-winning. News that involves you, your town, your world, and makes sense of it all. You want one free? 16 weeks, including Sunday, delivered to your door with TV preview, the guide with more listings, including cable, than even TV guide. He kissed me. I'll kiss my best. 16 weeks for only $3.35 a week. Enjoy newsstand prices with the convenience of free home delivery. Sunny looks to the guy looks too. 16 weeks of the Sun Times and musical Sunny Bear too. Just call 1 800 545 9000. Use Visa or MasterCard or we'll bill you. Call now and Sunny Bear will be in your home for Christmas. Maybe Santa will be a new one. Call 1 800 545 9000. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of Sports Channel America and is intended for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the accounts of the event without the expressed written consent of Sports Channel America is prohibited. And on first down, Waters breaking up the middle and to the outside. He may go. And finally, Bob Weissenfels runs Ricky Waters out of bounds near the Navy 20-yard line. Well, that offensive line is showing they've been doing, especially for the last three weeks, against top-rated defenses. They just opened up gigantic holes. Look at that block by Rodney Culver up front. Ricky Waters breaking over the seam. You see the Rocket trying to pick out a little block. He beats Steve Taza here at number 17, and then Bob Weisenfels knocks him out of bounds right about the 20. 43-yard pickup. On first down, the first play by Waters. Now Rice on the option. And Rice is down to the 10-yard line. Bill Bowling, inside linebacker on the tackle for Navy. And Notre Dame will have first down and 10 just outside the 10. Rod West checks in number 43 with the play. You saw him right there. There's that offensive line I was talking about, Ted. What a job they've done. This team's average over 255 yards as we set against some of the best defenses in the country. The offensive backfield still the same. Rodney Culver is the fullback here, and he gets the ball, and Culver is down to about the six-yard line. Anthony Johnson did not play after the first quarter last week, and they said he would try to play some today, but probably not much. He's got that sore ankle. They're going to give him a little bit of rest here. Rodney Culver, though, pretty good replacement. Four touchdowns on the year average, and just close to four yards a pop. As we take a look at the Navy defensive secondary and linebacking setup. The Navy defensive front's going to have to play tough. They just are not going to be able to let Notre Dame run at them and over them. Second down and five here. The Irish at the Navy six. Option. And it's Rice with the great cut for the touchdown. Nobody was there at all. No force on the quarterback. And I tell you, Navy's in for a long day. If you don't try to stop the option right at the point of attack, you must make Rice get rid of the football. Oh, that's his fifth touchdown rushing all on the year. And he's really been a great running quarterback, Ted. We're going to take a look out of the eye. That's Ricky Waters deep. An end zone shot here. Watch watch the fake. But look, at, look at that block up front by Rodney Culver. And that's the reason for the six points. A great block by Mr. Culver. Now in a Jim Sexton's hold, Craig Hendrick boots through the extra point. And Notre Dame needing just four plays goes 64 yards on its first possession to take a 7-0 lead. 
Kosar. Slaughter. The right combination. Then Boomer. And Bo. The Bengals battle the Raiders and NBC football doubleheader Sunday. Long after the game is over, NBC Sports is still on the line. Dial 1-900-226-8000 for NBC Scores Plus. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I don't feel any different about this game than any other one. All I've been doing is trying to stay ahead of the posse. Get inside the fighting Irish mind. Experience 1989 Notre Dame football on video cassette. Witness key plays from the team's point of view. Get a look at the entire Irish football program from the inside. Order call 1-800-798-5027 for Notre Dame football on video cassette. I'll never forget 1958, the first overtime championship game ever played in the NFL. United and the Colts, they beat the Giants 23-17. And the sporting news was there. The sporting news, with more complete coverage than any other sports weekly. Call 1-800-238-3100 and get 29 issues of the Sporting News for four payments of just $4.99. You'll save 69% off the cover price, 40% off the regular subscription rate. Call now 1-800-238-3100. Now Lou Holtz says he's never happy. Well, he's never satisfied. No matter how struggling a team may be coming in, he was worried to death about Navy. These four plays may have helped sav some of that work. Well, he's not worried about this blocking by Rodney Culver. Look at this block on the linebacker. And Rice cuts it up inside for an easy six. You know, it wasn't too long ago, Ted, Notre Dame, even Lou Holtz was sitting there with a 13 and 10 record. But you could sense a change in the Notre Dame football program at the time. They lost a lot of games by just a few points. And Holtz was what, 13 and 10. Now he's 34. Going for 34 and 10 with this 20. 20 win streak. What a bounce on that kick, and it came up and hit Jerry Dawson in the face mask. Ricocheting out and fallen on by a Navy player. Shane Smith fell on it at about the 13-yard line. Well, you you got to keep your eye on the ball, not your head. There's the drive. We mentioned just four plays, all rushing plays, and the Irish covers 64 yards. Watch it. Took that crazy little bounce. And he looks around, he, he lost control of the football. And luckily for Navy, they got it back even inside their 15-yard line. And Elliott Uselak looking at what Mike Gottfried saw a lot of last week for Pitt. Bad field position for his team. From the eye, Grizzard pitches to Purifoy. And he broke a couple of hits. Broke Andre Jones' tackle and got out to about the 18. Nice run by Purifoy there. He was hit by Andre Jones. Andre Jones, maybe for a yard loss, broke the tackle, picked up four. I mentioned that the Notre Dame has some people banged up. Stan Smigala's out today. He's not playing for the second straight week in the secondary. Rod Smith replacing him. Ned Bolkar's got a lot of minor bangs and bruises. I think Garish would like to get Bolkar out if they've got a big lead this game. Second down and five. Side give gets the ball to about the 20-yard line. Well, Bocar leads this defense. Number of tackles, 83 total on the year. As we take a look at Coach Uzelak on the sideline for Navy, but I tell you, the linebackers uh, you can almost play a little bit more deep. And you've got a great nose tackle like Chris Zorich in there. He's almost double team Ted. We've been watching Notre Dame all year long on Sports Channel, and it seems as if everybody tries to double team that young man. Look at the arms on that man, Chris Zorich. American no tackle for ND, and I tell you, he's got to fight off two blockers almost every play. Garifoy got two more yards. It's third down, a long two here for Navy. And Grizzard is going to try to throw for it. And the pass and a nice grab by B.J. Mason coming out from a slot position across the 40 for a Navy first down. Grizzard threw for 190 yards. That was his best effort of his career last week. And a losing effort to James Patterson. Ted, watch this. Roll out right off. Watch this catch by B.J. Mason. The sophomore from Valdesta picks up a big first down for the midship. Mason was a quarterback when he came to the academy. And we showed you Grizzard does average good yardage when he throws it. 22 yards on that completion. 
most wishbone quarterbacks should because everybody's playing against the run in the wishbone. And now a broken play, and Zorich ends that. What I love about Zorich, Paul, is still playing like he's in Alabama. Right. 40 degrees, he's got no jersey in. No, he, that's the way he loves it. He's not cold. It's pretty good football weather for football players, I tell you. 44 degrees, not bad at all. That's warm for South Bend in November. Boy, you could catch some real tough weather here. What weather we've had all year long for Notre Dame football here at home. Next week, our last home game will be right here on Sports Channel against SMU. Second and 12. Look at that hit. Mike Grazer pulled the ball back, though. Nicely done, and he gains about seven or eight yards out near midfield. I think Jeff Long went for the fullback, and you must stop the fullback there. Here, the wishbone's looking. Here it is, right fake to the fullback, and did he get wiped out? But the quarterback made a wise move. Grazer keeps the football and goes out over left tackle. Picks up five yards. Grizzard has led Navy in rushing the last two years, and he's tied for the lead coming into this game in his junior year. Now facing third and four. And he's going to keep it again, and this time he got the first down. Just knifing through at the last minute. And it's going to depend on the spot, but I believe he got it. Good move by Grizzard. Don Grimm on the stop, the junior from Scottsdale, Pennsylvania. From his inside linebacker spot, see number 50 coming over, getting into the action. That's Zorch, but Don Grimm was there. But I think Grizzard got the first down, Ted. Needed three. Academy with its second consecutive first down. Elliot Uzelak in his third year as head coach at Navy. This has been a tough year. Their only wins have been on the road against North Carolina and Boston College. That's probably the seniors here. Always have a group. They come from Annapolis for this football game. So first down here at the Notre Dame 47. Grizzard looking to throw it, stringing it out, and now is put down by Scott Kolkowski. And there's a name, Paul, that Not deserves bad. a little more recognition. Great football games the last two weeks. He sure has. I thought you were going to talk about his dad, his great football career at the Detroit Lions, but I tell you, Kolkowski is only a junior out of Detroit. Of course, his father was one of the great pros with the Detroit Lions, and this kid loves to play on that side of the football. His father was played offense. This kid loves to hit. And he has had some very good football games of late. Give Grizzard a yard. It's second and nine. And he gives it to the fullback. And Kwame Moultrie. He gets it down to about the 42-yard line. Good action that time by Mr. Moultrie. He got hit just past the line of scrimmage and turned out an extra three yards. Moultrie on the sideline. Moultrie got four, and it will be third down and five. And Elliot Uslak wants a timeout for the third and five at the Notre Dame 42. Seven minutes and nine seconds remaining in the first quarter. Notre Dame leads Navy 7-0 as we... Savings days are here at Nortown, and the savings have never been better. Get $1,000 cash back on Jeep Cherokees, the only domestic vehicle in its class with four doors. Get $1,000 cash back on Wagoneers, legendary toughness with all the trimmings. And get a great low price on the Jeep Wrangler. Don't miss out on big Jeep savings. Hurry, this sale ends Saturday at Nortown Olds Jeep Eagle, 7601 North Skokie Boulevard at Howard and Skokie. Nortown Olds Jeep Eagle. Expect the finest, and often you'll get it. Howard Frum Jewelers is Chicago's most respected jeweler for diamonds, gold, vintage wristwatches, Rolex, other fine watches, and jewelry for those special occasions. Visit Howard Frum Jewelers for a free appraisal of your watch or fine jewelry and receive the highest possible payment for your valuables. Expect the finest and find it in the service, the selection, and the quality at Howard Frum Jewelers. 8th floor, 5 South Wabash, Chicago. 7-0 Notre Dame leading with 7 minutes and 9 seconds remaining 
in the first quarter, and Elliot Uzelak staring at a big play early for Navy as they have third down and five. Well, we have to congratulations to the winner of the Notre Dame SMU tailgate weekend series, and we'll get to that at halftime of today's game. Third down and five at the 42 of Notre Dame. Grizzard being rushed, dropped Lord. the ball. That is a live football, and it's fallen on by Navy back at the 40-yard line. That was Nick. That was Chris Zorich putting on the pressure. He caused the fumble. All-American nose tackle, the junior, and boy, is he big. Watch him. 6'1", 268, right in the middle. Did a little loop, came from the outside, hit the football, caused the fumble. Navy gets it back, fourth down, they'll have to punt Big loss, an 18-yard loss on the fumble caused by Zorich. And Jeff Triplett is punting with Ismail deep this time for the Irish, but this punt got off the side of his foot very short and is going to be down at about the 35-yard line. That is only going to be a 25-yard punt. Uh, but maybe that's good. They kick it all away. You know, he's so dangerous, he's returned. Three kicks this year for touchdown, one punt return. It's a blessing in the size sometimes. Four punt. And the Irish, with a great running attack, nobody has stopped Notre Dame's ground game this year. And there's no reason, as Paul mentioned earlier, to expect Notre Dame to do anything different than that today. Rice, and he's going to look to throw it. Breaks one hit and now airs it out, but Ismail fell, and the ball is through the hands of Steve Tazza, the defensive back incomplete. Now, Ismail fell when he collided with the official. He did not collide with the defender. He collided with the official and fell. Well, very seldom do you see on a deep pattern where the, you'll have the rocket on a man-to-man. -man. Now, watch him. He's cutting over the post now. Tony Rice gets free. There he is. He collided with the official. Steve Taza will never have an easier shot at an interception than that. And to beat the number one team, you have to make that play. Exactly. Your Navy, that ball has to be intercepted. Notre Dame, of course, strong five touchdown favorite in this football game. Well, it is second down and ten out of the full house. And the pitch goes to Waters outside, and he turns on the speed and has a first down across the 45. There's that point we've been making about Ricky Waters. This is the change this year in Ricky Waters. As he takes himself out of the ball game, looks like he may have hurt his left shoulder a little bit, but he looks like, okay, there's Waters. He cuts back. Now, right here is the difference of Ricky Waters this year. Look at he put his shoulder down and go for that extra yard in the first down. Two carries, 54 yards. Not a bad average in the first quarter. 27 yards of pop so far, Ted. Waters being looked at on the sideline. Steve Bellis in the game for the Irish, and it's the Rocket on the counter. And he, running hard, gets the ball to the Navy, 46. Here's, here's what the Rocket has done this year. 1,227 all-purpose yards. 294 yards rushing with the football from his tailback position. 424 yards catching the football. 82 on punt returns. 427 on kickoff returns. But he hasn't caught a touchdown pass. And I really think that's the only category that Tony Rice is really down in this year is touchdown passes. He had eight last year. He only has two this year. Now a pitch to Ismail and Navy picks up that play well and nails it for a loss of a yard. Notre Dame has not run Ismail very often on back-to-back -back plays out of that tailback spot, but he's staying in because Waters is on the sidelines. And so it'll be third and four. I was going to say, Teddy broke one last week, what, 52 yards down the right sideline. It looked like two people had an angle on him. He just out, he outran the angles. Tremendous speed and acceleration. Third and four at the Navy 47. And Rodney Culver, nope, it's Rice keeping it in Ismail. Look at that move. Inside the 20. He's just got wonderful instincts, whether he's at a running back or a receiver, Ted. I'll tell you, what a great fake by Tony Rice. Now, that's how you run the option. That's why he's 
one of the most dangerous people in college football. Watch how he runs the great fake by Rodney Culver. Rice still has a look at the left-handed pitch. Two on one fast break, just like they do it in basketball. And watch this move by the Rocket back inside. 29-yard pickup. A big yardage for Notre Dame on the ground here in the first quarter. And they have a first down at the Navy 18. Waters back in. Nice job picking his hole there between the tackles, and he's down near the 10, where Mike Christ made the tackle. I'll tell you how good the Rocket is. He'd be a number one draft choice in the NFL this year. He's only a sophomore, and a true sophomore. And this guy might not be that far behind. And with Waters and Rocket running so well as tailbacks now, Notre Dame has been able to put Rodney Culver back in his better position, which is fullback. And he's playing all the way here. I would think right now we won't see Anthony Johnson at all today. Culver has played the first two series. This time Culver. Culver gets it, and he is in. Touchdown, Irish. Just too much power up front that offensive line. Good hard running again by Rodney Culver. He has really blocked well also here in the first quarter. Rodney Culver gets in for his fifth touchdown. Watch his hook. Good low movement with his legs. He put that left shoulder down and enabled him to get in. Well, the Irish with their 29th rushing touchdown of the year. They've only thrown for two and run five kicks back. Hendrick with the extra point. And so with three minutes and 18 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Notre Dame has marched the length of the field twice for touchdowns to take a 14 to nothing lead. While they're reading about yesterday, the boss from Casio gives you a powerful start on today. Its 64K memory lets you see where you're going. You can see who you're calling. This digital diary lets you see who you're meeting. And the boss can even exchange data with a PC. It's got everything you need to make your day a better day. The Business Organizer Scheduling System. The Boss from Casio. Dreading a typical night on television? Call this number instead. Who's on the line? And you can enter the Twilight Zone. On video cassette only through the CBS Video Library. Examine your first cassette risk-free for 10 days. See why this remarkable series earned three Emmy Awards. Witness masterful performances by some of America's favorite stars, like Jack Klugman. How come you're 10 years old again? And rediscover the genius of Twilight Zone's creator, Rod Serling. Just a prolonged nightmare in which fear, loneliness, and the unexplainable walk hand in hand through the shadows. Now it can be yours to enter whenever you like. Your first video cassette of four classic episodes is only $4.95. Call now to order The Twilight Zone on video cassette, only from the CBS Video Library. Credit card orders only, unless you prefer another typical night on television. <laughs> Touchdown drives of 64 and 65 yards, all of them on the ground, and they lead 14-0 in the first quarter. And this is exactly the script that Lou Holtz would have written, because if it continues at this pace for much more, he'll be able to rest some banged-up regulars and get some playing time for some young people. Hendrick with the deep boot, and B.J. Mason will down it in the end zone and the Navy will start again from their 20-yard line. A big run by Waters was the key to the first touchdown drive. A big run by Ismail, the key on this one. Seven plays, 64 yard, 259 off the clock. Coming eight, a six-yard run by Rodney Culver's fifth touchdown on the year. Good football teams don't beat themselves. And you see Notre Dame just in the fumble category. And they've had trouble with fumbles this year. They're still dead even. Navy not executing the wishbone as well as they'd like. That's always, that's always a problem you have with that wishbone. You throw it around a lot off that option. But Tony Rice operates the option as well as anybody in the country. 
on the pitch. Purifoy, nice run, and Patrick Terrell finally runs him out of bounds, but that's going to be a first down run just across the 30. But here's where Notre Dame really made its mark. Look at the interception ratio for Notre Dame. Yep, that's led by Todd Light with seven, and Pat Terrell, free safety. He's got five touchdowns. I mean, five interceptions, one for a score. Plus 13, that's, that's the right number right there. Coaches love that. Well, maybe with a first down run by Rodney Purifoy. And now Mason gets the call off the left side and gets virtually nothing. Navy last year ran the ball for nearly 200 yards in that game in Baltimore, Paul. That's the most rushing yards by anybody against Notre Dame during their 20-game winning streak. I tell you, they played well. They really were to be commended last year. You know, uh, Notre Dame was as big a favorite last year as they are today, but boy, I tell you, Navy just played their hearts out. They have second down and nine now from their 32. 14 to nothing, the Irish lead. Moultrie, the fullback, and he is just across the 35. We'll probably talk about how true freshmen contribute a lot at Notre Dame. At the Naval Academy, Kwame Moultrie, a freshman, does not even get mentioned in their press guide. Freshman football players at the Academy don't exist. <laughs> a little discipline. They go. I'll tell you, one of the biggest moments of my life, I was invited to a couple years ago to go back to Annapolis and speak to a part of the plebe. Uh, uh, about 300 of them gathered there for dinner one night. It's one of the most memorable nights I'll ever have in my life. Third and five, and Grizzard throwing, and the receiver slipped and then got up, and Dave Bergholt, the tight end, still almost caught the ball. Rod Smith on the coverage. Good coverage by Rod Smith, as we see Coming over to the sidelines, out of the wishbone here, end zone shot, play action, he goes back to the weak side, and whoop, anyway, there's Rod, Rod Smith, the sophomore from St. Paul on the coverage. And Jeff Triplett to punt for Navy for the third time. And punting into the wind again just knocks the ball down, prevents any sort of a run back by Waters, and just has to let it bounce, and it dies at the Notre Dame 31. I tell you, just to add a little note to that that dinner that when I was invited back, Ted, they showed me all around Annapolis. It's wonderful to walk around watch these young men discipline that they have to go through a tremendous amount of hours that they have to put through in one day in a work day and then to be able to sit down and break bread with them was quite an experience i tell you i really thoroughly enjoyed it live at notre dame stadium following navy's third punt of the first quarter notre dame taking over first down on its 32 yard line leading 14 to nothing and pitching to waters and he's got blocking outside but now a flag goes down and Waters with a good run out near midfield, but a run that will likely come back as a flag was thrown while Notre Dame was blocking on the corner. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This is a running back dream. This is going to be called back. They're racing at least a 16-yard game by Ricky Waters, who seems as if he's headed for a 100-yard rushing day very easily today if he gets enough calls from the quarterback. But I tell you, this is a running back dream, you know, when you're... You, you, you're running a sweep or even an off-tackle play, and nobody touches you till you get deep into the secondary. And that's what's happening with that offensive line blocking. Holding. Offense. 10-yard penalty. First down. That's one. Now watch. Nobody even, nobody even touching the running back till he gets way around the corner. Look at that hit. Crack back. There's the holding right there by Ray Griggs. 16-yard pickup, too. Greggs was split wide. He was coming back from almost a, a cutback block, and he more or less tackled the defender. And Rice with a quick throw, and it's high off the hands of Derek Brown, incomplete. And the most amazing statistic all year long, as far as Tony Rice is concerned, he, he has two touchdown passes on the year. Both of them have gone to Anthony Johnson. Not any touchdown passes to the Rocket, not any touchdown passes to Derek Brown or Pat Eilers or any of the receivers. So that has been lacking in their offense. But anyway, Notre Dame considered a running football team, and that's, they're going to stuff it down your throat if they can. And they usually do. Second down and 20. 
Notre Dame with two men split right. Rice looking to throw again. Lobs it out. And this one is tipped up and almost intercepted by Bill Bowling. Intended for Ricky Waters. And there have been a couple of balls up for grabs here that the midshipmen have not been able to pull off for interceptions. And this is what Tony Rice sees. This is a little zone. Look at the linebackers go back. Rice has got to throw the ball over these linebackers. As you see, number 12 just waiting for the football. He was open, Ricky Waters. You must throw that little pass over the linebackers and in front of the safety. Rocket Ismail is not in on this series for the Irish. He has an equipment problem, we understand. It is in the locker room. On third and 20, a fake draw. And Rice gunning it up. This time, William Pollard is open over the middle. And he has a first down at midfield. That's his first catch. Big freshman from Fort Knox, Kentucky. 25-yard pickup for Mr. Pollard. You know I like that. Well, they say he's the best high school football player to come out of the state of Kentucky since a kid named Horning. <laughs> Better. Believe me, this kid can, uh, he came from Kansas. His father was a colonel in the Army. His cousin, uh, uncle, was Frank Pollard of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this kid, 6'5", he runs 100 and the 220. He can motor. He's Wonderful athlete, good athlete. Rice drilling that in there for 28 yards, and here's another freshman already. Lou Holtz getting some people in. Dorsey Levins from Syracuse. Freshman tailback, very highly regarded player. Exactly. Gains about three, and we should have one play remaining here in the first quarter. How many schools won at Levins? Woo. A lot. Waters back in as the tailback, Culver the fullback, and this will in all likelihood be the first quarter's final play. And it's Culver, and he is to the 42. And Notre Dame will have third and short to start the second quarter. But the first quarter went as planned. A strong running game by Notre Dame and a couple of defensive stops to give the Irish a 14-0 lead. After one quarter, you're watching Notre Dame football live on Sports Channel. In business, a lot can happen. If you want to keep up every week, you have a choice. Not Forbes, not Fortune. You can read Business Week, or you can read a week of the Wall Street Journal. Business Week is designed for busy people. A quick scan of the contents page, and you'll have all the events of the week that interest you. Compellingly told in both words and pictures. If you want to keep up with what's going on out there every week, all year long, there's more than one way to go about it. The choice is yours. A subscription to Business Week has never been smarter. 32 issues of Business Week for the low basic rate of only $24.95. With your paid subscription, Business Week will send you this compact data bank. In addition to having full calculator functions, the data bank also stores up to 120 phone numbers. Here's how to subscribe. To order, call toll-free 1-800-841-0300. This is a beautiful morning for tennis. Of course, any morning is beautiful, if you're on the court. We'll be playing in a minute. Can hardly wait. The running, the hitting, the rhythm. I don't know. You just feel so good inside playing. The strategies. The fun. All the great people you'll meet. All the friends you'll make. Of course, the better you play, the better you feel. If you're a tennis player, you'll feel really good for reading Tennis Magazine. <laughs> tennis Magazine covers everything you want to know about tennis. From instruction to equipment, pro tennis to resorts. If tennis makes you feel good, a subscription to Tennis Magazine will make you feel great. Tennis is a lot more than just exercise, and Tennis Magazine knows it. Subscribe to Tennis Magazine now. Only $9.97 for 12 issues. Call 800-238-3100. We'll include two free booklets on improving your game. Tennis Magazine. Call 800-238-3100. Ted Robinson, Paul Horning back at Notre Dame. Those are the senior midshipmen. They've never beaten Army. And no midshipman likes to end his four years at the academy without beating Army. That'll be Navy's biggest game of the year in a couple of weeks. And Ricky Waters gets a first down for the Irish on the first play of the second quarter. And it wasn't easy. He weaved his way off the right side. He got hit a couple times. 86, Derek Brown, the big sophomore from Merritt Island, Florida, checks in. 
boy, a good kid, got wonderful size for a tight end. Ted, 6'7", 235, a good blocker, and just an excellent receiver as a tight end. Good, good speed. Now Rice rolling left. And the pass just a little bit short, trying to get it out there to Brown. Forced him to reach down for it, and it's incomplete. Thirty-seven yards rushing the first quarter for Notre Dame, maybe only thirty-seven yards passing. Notre Dame will not throw the football a lot. But that one sixty-five total. In only six minutes. That's pretty good production. That's right. Only had the ball six minutes and ran up all those yards. Now it is second and ten at the Navy thirty-eight. Pat Eilers is split wide left and William Pollard wide right. Rod West the tight end. pulls the ball back and then he is thrown to the ground by Mike Christ, senior lineman for Navy, starting in place of the injured Chris Yonke. Well, it's a great play by Mike Christ, the big senior. 6'4", 250. That's where you got to stop an option quarterback. Right there after he fakes it to that up back, you must tackle or make Tony Rice pitch the football. Stops that option right at the point of attack. You let Tony Rice go out on that corner and have an option on the cornerback out there, and they just play two-on-one fast break with him. We'll see if Rice puts it up here third down and 12. And he will. Going down the field. That one is intercepted by David Lurch of Navy. And he has a lot of room down the far side and then runs out of bounds at the Navy 43. So a senior fifth defensive back who came in, David Lurch from Coopersburg, Pennsylvania, has the interception. David Lurch and Tony Rice did not. Watch a play action off the left side. He's coming back to the weak side. And he forgot to look a little further to his right. Watch this Lurch playing soft in that zone. He comes up with his, and that's only the sixth interception on the year for Navy. But it's a big one as it stops Notre Dame from putting another six on the board. 18-yard return. Shipman now started their 43. This is their best field position. And Grizzard's trying to throw it. And he kind of puts one out. It's caught at the Notre Dame 42. And it's caught by Shane Smith, who was the top receiver for the middies. Rod Smith makes the tackle. Now Notre Dame has played great football all year long to stay unbeaten. But the one category that they've given up a few yards in is against the pass. They're giving up about 200 yards a game upstairs. Of course, nobody's been able to run the football against them. And it forces everybody to go upstairs. So naturally, you're going to get a few more yards that way. But anyway, the Look at this defense. He just can't run the football against him. Grizzard hit by Alm. Zorich there also. Penetration. You let Zorich and Alm and some of these big guys get a yard or two penetration against the wishbone. It'll kill him. Right there. You know, this is the time, Paul, when a guy like Jeff Alm begins to probably reminisce a little bit. This week and next week, his last game's here at Notre Dame Stadium. And he's finishing on a strong note. Second and 11, and Moultrie, the fullback, gets about two. Sean Smith, a freshman who nearly intercepted that pass play on the first Navy play. Sean Smith out of Minnetola, New Jersey, on the tackle for Notre Dame. And so Alton Grizzard waiting for the play to come in on third and nine. does have a second quarterback who's a little better thrower. If they needed to throw the ball in the game, we might see a young man named Gary McIntosh. Who started last year's game against the Irish. Big rush on Grizzard, and he's brought down by Scott Kolkowski. Good pressure on the quarterback. And boy, that has changed the last couple of weeks. They've gone to a four-man rush, and they also throw in a linebacker or two. Look at this rush. Nobody picks up. That's Don Graham over there, 36. And number 37, Kowalkowski. And they shot the inside linebacker. And Notre Dame has really improved their pass rush the last three weeks. And they've really thwarted Navy on third down plays in the first half. Triplet to punt, this time with the win, and Waters is the deep back. 
picked up a better punt, but a fair catch called for by one of the up men, Steve Bellis, at the Notre Dame 20-yard line. The Irish lead 14-0. Early second quarter as we pause now for regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel America. One day each year, the world's best horses come to one track to compete in seven championship races for $10 million. That day is the Breeders' Cup. See Kentucky Derby champion Sunday Silent battle Belmont winner Easy Goer in the race of the year, the $3 million Breeders' Cup Classic. The Breeders' Cup. Watch it live this Saturday. Check local listings for the time and station in your area. If this man got his way in the 1920s... I'd be the president of the United States. America would be a very different place today. Cross of Fire. The conclusion Monday. Then at 10. In the 20s, the Klan had enough power to control Indiana state government. But where are they today? I really believe that the white race will be extinct if they don't make some changes. Monday, a look at the life of the real D.C. Stevenson and the KKK in Indiana today. Channel 5 News at 10. After the dramatic conclusion of Cross of Fire. Monday. At halftime today, we're going to not only talk about Notre Dame football, but Notre Dame basketball, whose coverage begins on Sports Channel next Friday night. 20 Notre Dame basketball games to be seen this winter, and Digger Phelps will be here at halftime to preview the upcoming season. Tyler's stumbling as he goes in motion. First down at the Irish 20, and Waters takes the pitch. And Waters... Another good first down run of seven or eight yards. Yesterday, Paul, I asked Lou Holtz if he knew what Notre Dame's first down and ten yardage was this year. He said he didn't, but I gather there are many plays like this. Nice cut by Ricky Waters here. Five carries today, 73 yards. And, and folks, when that happens, when you've got five or six carries and you got 70 yards, that offensive line up front they have been outstanding all year long. And here is Steve Bellis in a tailback, and he runs it for a first down. Mark Ellis on the tackle. Valuable man on this football team, Steve Bellis. He can play flanker, he can play split end, he plays running back. He also is very valuable on those special teams. He gets down on the kickoffs. He's on the kickoff return team. So he does a lot. Doesn't show up in the statistics of very many big plays. First down now at the Irish 32. And Culver gets the ball, and Rodney Culver is out across the 35. And Clemson's got a four-point lead, first quarter action. Clemson seven, North Carolina three. Long year at Chapel Hill for football this year. Second and four now at the Irish 38. Tony Smith now, a sophomore from Gary, split in. And Culver gets the ball again. Rodney Culver out within about a yard of a first down. Bill Bowling making the tackle. And the Navy team, their defense all year has been led by secondary men and linebackers and tackles, and it's happening again today. Well, that tells you something, Ted, right there. When you, you have a safety man leading your team in tackles, that means your defensive line, your linebackers uh, are not doing the proper job because the safety man should never lead your team in tackles. Everybody's running through the, getting through to the secondary. You've got a tough, tough defense to face. And the Irish needing about a foot here for a first down. Elliot Uzelak trying to get Navy football back where it was under George Welch in the late 70s and early 80s. They haven't had a winning year at Navy since 82. Now the Irish go to the full house. Eilers, Culver, and Dorsey Levins are the running backs. And tough yardage, but it is Culver that gets the first down. He's hanging in there. There are only two touchdowns behind. What they would like, love to have here is a turnover of some sort. 
trying to hit Notre Dame into making some of those mistakes to stay, stay in the football game. They're only two touchdowns behind. But they'll afford to give up one here, though, with about nine minutes to go in the first half. The Irish leading 14 to nothing. First quarter rushing touchdowns by Rice and Culver. Staying now in the full house. And Rice on the option. Crosses midfield. And again on first down, picks up about eight. And that has been so much a part of Notre Dame's great running attack this year. They've had a lot of second and two and second and three plays. And that's the reason Tony Rice, he's... He's so dangerous when he runs this option, when he cuts back, if you make him cut back, he's going to pick up seven or eight yards. If you go to tackle him at the point of attack, he's going to flip it out, and that could be a big play down the sidelines with the Ricky Waters. Fifty to play in the second quarter, and the Irish have second and two at the Navy 48. And it's Waters' huge hole, and he may go. That move should do it. Touchdown, Ricky Waters. And now it's the first time an Irish back has been over 100 yards all year long. What a beautiful move by Ricky Waters. The junior from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Great athletic ability, 6'2", 199. Watch this move, and look at the blocking up front. Boy, that's Mike Brennan getting a good block. Now it's Waters. He cuts back three times here. He turns, he turns Steve Taza, number 17, right around. Great move. 48 yards for Ricky Waters and six points. And Craig Hendricks, extra point, gives Notre Dame a three-touchdown edge. 8.36 to play in the first half, and a great first half for Waters. And Notre Dame leads 21 to nothing. The struggle for excellence is the spirit behind running a business. It's the only way to run an airline. At Northwest, helping you do business is putting us on the fast track. In all we do, we're striving to jump the line from the merely good to being great. Because being the best is the only thing we want to be. I'll never forget 1958. The first overtime championship game ever played in the NFL. United and the Colts, they beat the Giants 23-17. And the sporting news was there. Hey, you want overtime? How about that 1982 playoff game? The Chargers over the Dolphins, 41-38. The most exciting game I ever saw. And the sporting news was there. Yes, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or hockey, wherever the excitement is, the Sporting News is there, bringing you more complete coverage than any other sports weekly. Call now for the Sporting News at the lowest price anywhere with convenient delivery right to your door. Call 1-800-238-3100 and get 29 issues of the Sporting News for four payments of just $4.99. You'll save 69% off the cover price, 40% off the regular subscription rate. You can't get a better deal. Call now, 1-800-238-3100. That's 1-800-238-3100. Ricky Waters has a career high, 121 yards rushing. And he's doing a smart thing right there. I just watched him. He congratulated each and every offensive lineman in front of him. Watch this move. That's Lurch. He beat Lurch. He got by the safety man. And now Steve Taze puts a little move on Steve. And then outruns the linebacker. Beautiful move by Ricky Waters. And you hit a ball. He didn't have to beat a tackler until he was in the secondary. Secondary, and when, when that's happening, your defensive up front seven men are not doing a job. They're getting blocked. And Notre Dame's offensive line just really controlling the line of scrimmage. So Hendrick will boot it. Notre Dame leading 21 nothing. This one really held up in the wind. It hits short. Dawson fields it. Jerry Dawson to the 32-yard line. Now the Irish with their first 100-yard running game by an individual this year. And they've already rushed for 217 yards as a team. And another very quick drive, just seven plays to go the 80 yards. with a problem. 
problem that really hit home last week when James Madison, a 1-double-A team, ran for better than 300 yards against them, and it pretty much gave Notre Dame an idea they could do the same thing here. Iroquois taking the pitch, and he gets outside. Good move. About five. Sophomore from Fort Washington. Maryland, of course, I'm going to tell you, this is only 5'8", 186 pounds, but he's shown us a couple of good moves. Here comes the option, Rizard. That's Eric Simeon, the great freshman linebacker. He's going to be great. Number 85, look at him pursue on that sweep there. Out of Los Angeles. Purifoy now, five carries, 34 yards, Ted. And the second and four at the Navy 38. Inside goes Purifoy, and he gets about a yard or two. Zorich stacking up the play in the middle for the Irish. Halftime will have the winner of our USA Today Sports Channel tailgate contest. We'll be here next weekend for the Notre Dame SMU game. Yep, we're going to find out what kind of a basketball team Notre Dame has, of course, as we talk with bigger films. A lot of games on Sports Channel America coming up. Notre Dame basketball, among other sports. And live football again right here next Saturday at noon Eastern. Trying to run it inside for the first down, and maybe did not get it. Kwame Moultrie running it inside. And did not get the first down yardage. 14-3 now. Clemson over North Carolina, second quarter. Navy's going to go for it here. They have fourth down and a yard just across the 41, and they're going to go for it. Why not? I like it. Tremendously out, man. They're just giving it a shot. Line up in the wishbone. Pull back over the right guard, and you get it easy. And Grizzard keeps it, gets it, and is out to the 47-yard line. So Alton Grizzard keeping it. It's first down yardage. The reason I said that, there was a linebacker about four yards deep. Look at the right guard. Right there, it's wide open, too. They close the hole. Grizzard wisely keeps the football, runs the option from the wishbone, gets the first down easily. Stopped by Todd Light. So Navy able to move the ball a bit here on the ground against Notre Dame. Grizzard looking to throw on first down, and his pass incomplete. Bolkar back in coverage against B.J. Mason. Well, he made a mistake there. He could have taken off with the football and got the first down very easily. He stepped up into the pocket. Nobody was in front of him. Could have ran the football for the first down. Chuck Tate. Raghib Ismail, he is in the locker room right now. We understand has a groin injury and will not be back at least in this half. And if the score should stay where it is, he probably wouldn't play again today. Grizzard changing at the line here on second and ten. He's going to run the option. And keeps it. This is a good hard-nosed running. Picks up about five yards. Tough kid. He didn't like something. He's drawing with somebody down there. Here's the wishbone. Here it comes. Fakes to the fullback. Watch Zorich here. Might be a little bit of a late hitter. I think Alton Grizzard was a little bit hotter. Right there, yeah. He couldn't pull it off, though. And he's down to the Notre Dame 47, so it will be third down and four for Navy with 525 left in the first half. Notre Dame leading 21-0. the option to the wide side and the pitch to Purifoy and he has got first down yardage. DeJuan Francisco racing up to make the tackle but using the wide side Rodney Purifoy gets the first down. And they also came to the wide side with the counter option. You see he turns back and pull the offside guard and it's a good pitch here. There's trying to get a standoff block against Todd Light. His responsibility is to keep everything in front of him and he did it they, but they got the first down. Purifoy, sophomore, looks pretty good. Of course, he's getting that pitch on the corner, Ted, and he's going to get four or five yards. Easy. I think he's 
change in the play here. And it was a fullback, Bobby Moultrie, to the 39, where Ned Bolkar makes the tackle. <laughs> Two field goals and a safety here. Boston College, five, Syracuse, three. Second quarter. A tough year for Boston College. They were beaten by Navy. At Chestnut Hill, Navy ran a fake punt on fourth down late in that game to protect the lead. Well, they used like daring move, and it paid off. Gave the Middies one of their two wins this season. Moultrie gets the ball again. It is short yardage, and now Navy will have third and long. Simeon on the stop, Eric Simeon. Getting a little action on the right. Very highly touted freshman from Los Angeles. Nick Smith, another freshman, is playing in this series for the Irish. He's an inside linebacker. Simeon, a 6'3", 225. Great agility. for the Irish. I dropped it. Now they're call it incomplete. They bobbled it a little bit. So it will bring up fourth down for Navy. Fourth down and six at their 38. They'll go for it on fourth down here. A little play action around the left. Very poor thinking by Navy here. Didn't surprise anybody. He was open for a minute, but when you go back against the grain, you better be well aware of the offside cornerback back there. He should have the interception. And Navy for the fourth down play. They try to throw. Big pressure dumped out to Purifoy. And Patrick Terrell is there on the big hit to stop Navy on fourth down and turn the ball over on downs. Going to get a new quarterback on this series. Rice is going to get a breather. Rick Barr, the freshman from Goshen, Indiana, checks in. Take another look. Great hit by Pat Terrell. So Notre Dame with a 21-0 lead going to the second team. And Rick Meyer will be in to play quarterback as we pause now for a regional break. Watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel. Hi, this is Ray from Suburban Ford in Albion. Over the past three years, you see me crush the prices, kick a touchdown, interview Elvis, even play a Santa Claus. And now I'm going to do something a little different. Magic. Watch these new luxury loaded 89 Mustangs disappear when I sell them for only 86.37. Right? And prep included. Wow, this thing really works. Uh oh. Visit Ron Hopkins Suburban Ford on Route 19 Irving Park Road in Elgin. As a businessman, you demand excellence from the people you do business with. You want quality products, outstanding service, and professional people. That's why you chose Alltalk for your commercial heating and air conditioning needs. As a homeowner, you expect nothing less. That's why Alltalk is the obvious choice for your home heating and air conditioning needs. Alltalk Industries, where excellence is never compromised. in command here. They take over on downs at their 41. And we begin to look at the future of Notre Dame football as Rick Meyer, a freshman, takes over at quarterback. And he is walloped as he throws that pass incomplete. Alfred Culver in the flat. Andy Kirkland, the nose tackle for Maybe put a big hit on this very highly regarded freshman. Blind hit on Rick Meyer there. Roll out right. He's got a good arm. He's been watching him all year long. He hasn't seen too much action. He's four out of 14 on the year with one interception. So today will probably be the longest that this young man has played in a Notre Dame uniform. Asked Lou Holtz yesterday, what do you want to see from Rick Meyer if he gets in today? He says, put it in the end zone. That's it. Just put it in. Here's a quick hitter out to Levens. And then the ball gets fumbled out of bounds. 
and actually will gain some yardage for Notre Dame down closer to the 40. They're going to mark it back at the 47 where the fumble occurred. It's still first down yardage for Notre Dame. Quick pitch out on the left side. Dorsey Levin, flank on the left. Here's the move. Chris Cordero on the outside. He fumbles the football, and it's out of bounds. Since it was fumbled forward, it's marked where the fumble occurred at the Navy 47. Now Meyer gives to Bellis, so he runs right to Bill Bowling in the middle for Navy. Anthony Domino, outside linebacker, is also a good There's another freshman quarterback on the Irish team who has not played this year named Jake Kelster. And Lou Holt says come March when they go to spring football, Tony Rice's job will be up for grabs between those two. Right, and Kelster is highly regarded for Berwick, Pennsylvania. One of the best in the country last year. A soft touch pass there to Waters, and he is down for a first down to the 36-yard line. A little delay over the middle. pass completed by Rick Meyer. Play action. Little fake. Linebackers have vacated the zone. And they need a 10 and Ricky Waters got it. David Lowe made the tackle for Navy and it's a first down. 2-12 to go in the half. Notre Dame leading 21-0. Now Meyer running a little option. I don't think you're going to see too much more of that in the future. Not an option quarterback. This kid's too valuable. He can run the option. He's a great athlete, but much better throwing the football. He's got a great arm. Tony Smith checks off more from Gary with the play. You saw him give it to Rick Meyer. That's the time remaining in the half. 21-0 Notre Dame. And the Irish have it at the Navy 34. Adrian Jarrell from Athens, Georgia, who makes his first Notre Dame catch. Adrian Jarrell, he was a wishbone quarterback in high school. That's going to be a measurement for a first down. With a minute and 18 seconds remaining in the first half, Notre Dame leading 21 to nothing. If you want to see the movie Cocktail on TV this fall, Showtime has it. HBO doesn't. Showtime also has Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. HBO doesn't. Showtime has Red Heat. My stepmother is an alien. HBO doesn't. The fact is, only Showtime has exclusive rights to these and lots of other top box office hits. Showtime exclusives. Here you see them, there you don't. Kosar, Slaughter, the right combination. Then Boomer and Bo. The Bengals battle the Raiders and NBC football doubleheader Sunday. Long after the game is over, NBC Sports is still on the line. Dial 1-900-226-8000 for NBC Scores Plus. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If football is all you know about Notre Dame, you've got a lot to learn. Take Newt Rockney. Before he coached football, he taught chemistry. And he taught in the laboratory of a Notre Dame priest who discovered synthetic rubber. The tradition of research goes on today on campus in chemistry, in chemical engineering, and in many other fields. The pursuit of new knowledge is something we're proud of at Notre Dame. So the next time you see football, think chemistry. Continue again next week. Notre Dame and SMU in the home finale. Right now, the Irish have third down and one, and a first down carried by Ryan Mahalko, junior pullback from Pelham, New Hampshire. Notre Dame has two timeouts remaining. They'll stop the clock as they move the chains for the first down. Notre Dame will quickly huddle. Rod West getting out of the game quickly. 
Falco, the only running back. And there's a quick pass to Jarrell. Going without blocking, and he's brought down. Nice open field tackle by Steve Tazza, maybe. At the 17-yard line, and the Irish will use another timeout. And I think what Lou Holtz, again, is seeing here, he wants to see that Rick Meyer can engineer a drive and put the ball in the end zone. Meyer's other appearances this year, Paul, have been kind of mop-up roles. That's right. And this is the first time really under fire against the defense to see, as you said, if he can move the football, giving him, number one, well-needed experience. Also, it helps his poise and confidence that he can move that football into the end zone, put some points up on the board. Talking to the whole group. Merkel Jerkovic there, the big seven on his jersey there. The Lou Holt has a great line. Asked him yesterday about how he's dealt with what every Notre Dame coach has dealt with, the fact that every opponent every week has their biggest game of the year against sure. Notre Dame. It's very easy. Well, I can tell my team that it is an honor to play against Notre Dame, because it really is. He said, Lou Holt said, when I was a player, I felt that way. It was an honor to play against Notre Dame. The only bigger honor was to play for Notre Dame. And when you think about how he's been able to keep this team up every week, every week. void of letdowns, it is amazing. It is a tough thing to talk about it like that, but when you play here, you, you soon realize that everybody is going to come after you every week. So you better be ready physically. Now, maybe, of course, they've got one big game that they always look for. And, of course, that's Army at the end of the year. But this is the second biggest game, I think, on their schedule. Here's Meyer rolling out and throwing it, and he overthrows Adrian Jarrell at the five. He was open. And he had the right, the right sense then. He, he was going to try to drill the football. He was open for that split second. now for Notre Dame at the Navy 18. 47 seconds remaining in the half. I think you may see next year for Rick Meyer a little bit different offense for Notre Dame. I think they'll have a few more drop back passes and a few more patterns for this young man. They've got a wealth of receivers it looks like. Young receivers with a lot of speed. And a running play and Steve Bellis may have picked up a first down inside the 15. Running a delay there to Bellis. Take another look. The all-purpose Mr. Bellis, the senior from Phoenix. Good blocking up front. Look at Tim Ryan. Get a good block on the right side. That's him, number 52. Block running 35 seconds, and Meyer throws it out, and getting out of bounds is Bellis at the 10-yard line. It only picked up two yards, but stops the clock at 31 seconds remaining in the half. Both these Notre Dame guys had bumped into each other, and he almost had an intercept. Herb Smith bumping into Mr. Mahalko. It's about the third ball that the Middies have had. A real shot at grabbing and haven't been able to. That's right. Carson should have had it. And now it's third and seven from the 10-yard line. And Meyer looking again, throws that one, and drills it way over the head of Herb Smith. throw the ball. You see that? He puts got you on it. Yeah. Yeah. Although that time, all he had to do was drop it over. A little touch. It would have been six. Irv Smith had his man beaten in the left corner. So the drive stalling at the 10-yard line, and now Billy Hackett will get the field goal try here for the Irish. His first attempt of the year. And it will be from 27 yards away. And we 
Jim Sexton holding. The kick is good. So Billy Hackett, who kicked the long-range field goals for the Irish last season, kicks his first field goal this year. And the Irish lead 24 to nothing. With 16 seconds remaining in the first half. Lou Holtz says the only position he's not going to recruit this year is kicking. Figures with right. Hendrick and Hackett to back him up. Next couple of years is going to be pretty good. Exactly. Another sellout here at home. Take a look at Holtz. Very calm on the sidelines today as Notre Dame's offense is getting the job done. Live at Notre Dame Stadium, a field goal by Billy Hackett of 27 yards, making a 24-0 Notre Dame with 16 seconds remaining. It's that fabulous, funny face. When Lucille Ball laughed, we laughed. When she cried, we laughed. No matter what she did, we laughed. It's no wonder I Love Lucy is one of the most popular comedies in TV history. Get in that door, but the last thing I do. Own I Love Lucy, the collector's edition, uncut and professionally restored. Available on video cassette exclusively from the CBS Video Library. Order your first three-episode cassette for only $4.95. Enjoy Lucy at her side-splitting best. No, let me have it! Okay. Clowning around. Stomping more than grapes. Watch the Queen of Comedy earn her title again and again. Order now and you'll get the I Love Lucy book free. Have your credit card ready and call the number on your screen now. Credit card orders only, please. Did you ever see my imitation of a Pekingese? A Pekingese? <laughs> this is a golfer. He'll play anywhere. Golf Digest magazine helps his game anywhere he plays with instructional articles from top pros. So wherever you play, play better with Golf Digest. Get a full year of Golf Digest for 1677. Call 800-841-0300 now and get our free half-hour instructional video with your paid subscription. Call 800-841-0300 now. Sports Channel presents live coverage of Notre Dame football. And here is Rice. Rice to the 10. Rice to the 5. Touchdown Irish. No 
November 11th, Lou Holtz's troops get their Irish up for a battle with the run-and-gun offense of SMU. Heisman Trophy candidate Tony Rice quarterbacks the most dangerous football team in America in their quest to remain number one. Notre Dame versus SMU, live and exclusive. Noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, only on Sports Channel, Saturday. 24-0, the Irish leading Navy at halftime here at Notre Dame Stadium. And I think if Lou Holtz could have sat down before the game and written his own script on how things would go, it would have been exactly as it did. A couple of big runs by Notre Dame in the first half. Paul, dominant game on the ground. And uh, comfortable enough half that Lou was able to play a lot of people. And Ricky Waters, of course, the first Irish back this year to get over 100 yards rushing. He's had over 120 yards. This is by far his best game. Of, we've only played a half. He's never had a game over 100 yards. Tough situation for Elliot Uslak. You feel for him because he takes an outman team into the locker room. What do you say to kids like that at halftime? Well, you know, last year we keep bringing it up. It was Navy's best game against Notre Dame, holding Notre Dame to only a 15-point win. They have nothing to, you know, to really look at. They have no chance in a football game like this. You know, Navy's completely outmanned, especially up front. The offensive line of Notre Dame is going to push them all over the field. And if you're a running back, you just lick your chops at something like this. And I, I would imagine that Ricky Waters saying, you know, to some of his friends in the locker room, boy, I hope I get to play the second half a little bit more because a running back, this kind of running back uh, situation where you want the football because you know you're going to gain a lot of yards. Hey, you played on a lot of winning football teams. Share with us what you think may be some of the secrets to Lou Holtz's ability to make sure that this team is ready to play every single week, that they came out today and the first quarter opened up some distance between well, themselves. Sometimes, Teddy, a game like this is the toughest game on a coach because realistically he knows he's going to win the football game uh, for instance let's take a look down the highway against SMU realistically everybody in this country knows that SMU is going to be completely outmanned again we're going to have that game right here on sports channel but anyway it's it's a tough game sometimes for the coaches because what do you say to a bunch of guys well you better get ready we're going to be in for a tough football game you no know, players aren't going to buy that what you try to do on the other hand I think is to go out and try to play an error free football game Let's let's hone in on some of the things that we haven't done as well during the year. Let's do those things and do them better. Because the next two weeks after that, you know, they're not going to be talking about Penn State, Miami, but it's on everybody's mind. It's a natural thing. You you almost have to think of it subconsciously. So I guess, and it's difficult when you're ahead 24 nothing to find fault with anything. But if Lou Holtz maybe were to find fault with anything in the first half again, he probably would have liked to have seen Tony Rice complete a few of those exactly. passes. Exactly. He wants to get Rice into a better frame of mind throwing the football because before this year's over with, we're going to have to throw the football a few times, you know, and I know he wants to uh, have that passing attack ready when he wants to use it. Which is another thing to talk about as we look down the road at the two real tough games remaining with Penn State and Miami. How much does Lou Holtz show those teams? He knows they're going to be watching films of all these games. Well, I don't know if you want to show anything if you're going to use something against Penn State and Miami or SMU. Then again, if you want to give them something to look at, something to, for them to prepare, you may not want to use it against Penn State and Miami. You may want to use it today and at least give them an idea of what they have to prepare for. Well, I'll talk this week Cat around. Mouse, right? Yeah, that's right. We're going to talk about bowls this week. Do you have anything you care to share well, with us on that? I don't know. Uh, it seems a foregone conclusion that it's going to be Colorado and Nebraska in the Orange Bowl, of course. As they play that big game a little bit later on today. And if Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame looks like may be headed against the winner of that game. So looks like that game could be for the national championship. Of course, one big if for Notre Dame, and that's the last game of the season. And Penn State. A lot of people had some fun with, with Lou Holtz's statement to this week and his concern about Notre Dame playing in a bowl game, but he was deadly serious. Not necessarily about playing in a bowl game, but about the amount of time that especially his young players have spent. They've been here since August the 4th with no break. Right. And that first game, of course, took a, I think looking back, uh, you know, that took, what, another two or three weeks of practice, that, that game at the Meadowlands, the, the, the college game. So I don't know if he was too happy about that. But anyway, Notre Dame is happy to be where they are, undefeated, going for their all-time winning streak of 21 straight in the next week. Blue Holtz could be sitting there by himself with 22 wins. Yeah. And to have their destiny in their own hands is really right. the way you like to do it 
in college football two years in a row now. Notre Dame's been in that role. Well, we're going to visit with another guy who's hoping he's got some championship games to play in the coming up in the spring. Digger Phelps, Notre Dame basketball coach, will be joining us in a few minutes to preview Notre Dame basketball season. With 20 games of which you'll be seeing right here on Sports Channel. Notre Dame leads 20 for nothing at halftime as we pause for a regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel America. Cody, wake up! Horn, if we're late again, Coach will kill us. Shortcut! On those days when you need a little more ground clearance and horsepower, you need a Chevy. Cody, <laughs> check out these cheese heads over here. Looks like they're stuck in a Ford. Drive a new Chevy 4x4 full-size pickup or get stuck with something else. Friday, November 10th at a theater near you. Now, Notre Dame is a, is a great institution athletically because of the continuity. The same people are here forever. Now, Digger Phelps has been here so long that when I was a student here, I had a lot more hair, and Digger was wearing leisure suits. Now, look how far we've come in 19 yeah. years, huh? I've got gray hair, <laughs> and you're wearing nice jackets and ties. <laughs> That's the Can you think that you blink back? This is near 19th season you're embarking on. It's never been a job. It's always like, a, you know, a kid playing Little League or playing in the Sandlots. Uh, I guess that's what Notre Dame Athletics is when you grow up in the Hudson Valley and it was all Army and Notre Dame and, and now I'm here working at the place and, and it's never been a job. It's something I love to do and uh, continue to love doing it. All right. Well, you're heading to the 90s, and I guess we could say Notre Dame basketball is looking to the 90s. You feel like you made some major progress last year that could pay off this year? I'll tell you what's been interesting here, uh, knowing what we are as an academic institution. When Proposition 48, uh, the college presidents in 82 said, well, this is what we're going to do in 86. If you notice, the last four years, we've been able to get athletes with quickness that can play basketball that belong at a place like Notre Dame. Rather than playing against them, we now have them here. And that's been a plus of Proposition 48. I think that's helped us in football, obviously, and it's now starting to help us in basketball. And I think when you see this year's team, uh, hopefully we'll have everybody eligible next semester. As we can pick up, as we did against Georgetown in the first second round, that second round game against Georgetown, if we can just get back to that level of intensity and play the season, uh, there's no doubt in my mind we're going to be a very good basketball team come March for that NCAA championship. Obviously, the pressing question, and for those who don't know, LaFonzo Ellis is not eligible academically the first semester. Where does that stand, and how are you monitoring that situation? Well, it's obvious here the support system works. Otherwise, you wouldn't get kids out of here in four years with a degree. You know that. I think at the same time, you, you've got to exploit that support system. The greatest thing about Notre Dame, if you don't exploit this place academically, they'll force you to do it academically. And LaFonzo's missing the first semester because of what he did in summer school. I think, obviously, he has that mentality to get it done. I, I, I'm I nervous. Uh, actually, we're taking more time off this fall to get these kids ready because we lost Kevin Ellery last spring. Uh, he went to the final exams with all C's, and you've got to have a 2.0 to play the next semester. And if you don't, you don't play the following semester. That's our concern right now. I think probably around Christmas we should know how we stand for next semester. We're playing those first five games with San Francisco, Louisville, uh, Indiana on the road, of course, and then Marquette, Milwaukee, UCLA at home without Fonz. But I look at that as a plus to get the other guys ready like Fonz is in foul trouble. So come through. I think people will like the 11 guys back. They know who they are. We had no seniors last year. I think they're going to love Mountie Williams. Let that kid blend into this team. He's a freshman from Potomac, Oxon Hill, Maryland. Um, I, I think that at 6'7", he's going to be an excellent player that's going to be a factor in our success come March. Yeah, you say you look at that as a positive. Who is, the, is there a guy that you feel could really step forward, could blossom by getting a chance to play more while Ellis is out? Well, this forces Tower and Paddock to get ready to play that five-spot slot, which is important to us. Robinson's okay still at the four. Jameer Jackson, Joe Frederick still have the wings and Singleton at the point. But now you still got Damon Sweet coming in with Elmer Bennett. You still have every, every everything to do with Kevin Ellery, who did it last year. And, of course, you throw Monty Williams in there and Keith Atkins possibly shooting the threes. We've got depth. Uh, we, we've got size. I just think the most important thing for us to do this year 
rather than play 16, 17 home games, go play people on the road. And that's what we're doing when you're playing in the big arenas with Syracuse, LSU, where they expect 60,000 in the Dome. Uh, of course, playing down in Indianapolis in the Big Four Classic with uh, Louisville and 45,000. That conditions you to what the regionals are like in the big arenas. At the same time, knowing that you're playing in a place like Denver where it's 17,000, that's what Bloomington is. So I think we're covering in every aspect of the road, which to me is what this team needs. They don't need the easy wins at home. They need to play the tough people on the road because that's what March is. Absolutely. No walk in the park this year. We're going to be with you most 20 games so plus the that. Digger Phelps show on yes, Sports Channel. Yes, uh, I, I, it's always been fun to do that. I think uh, what you people are doing here, of course, with Sports Channel to have that type of exposure around the country uh, it gives everybody an inside look to see the progress of the Irish. Uh, the Digger Phelps show uh, has had great success over the years, and we keep that interesting because it's not just basketball. It gets into life at the university and gets into other things that make the world go around. So we're looking forward to a great year in basketball, looking forward to a great year with Sports Channel. Right, we'll look forward to seeing it Friday night when Digger Phelps puts his team on display for the first time at the ACC, meeting a traveling team from Israel. That'll be Friday night prior to the SMU football game next weekend right here on Sports Channel. We're at halftime. Notre Dame leads Navy 24 to nothing. We'll continue halftime activities in the first half stats in a moment. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. For more than 25 years, James Bond has thrilled moviegoers. And now Time Life Video announces the James Bond Collection. And the adventure begins with Goldfinger at the special introductory price of just $9.99. That's a savings of 50% off the regular price. Then you can collect other James Bond adventures on home video. Dr. No. From Russia with Love. Thunderball. Live and Let Die. Octopussy and more. The James Bond collection begins with Goldfinger for only $9.99. If you keep it, you'll receive another great Bond movie each month for just $19.99. There's no minimum to buy. Cancel at any time. Call now to get Goldfinger for just $9.99. Here's how to order. To order your James Bond video cassette, call 1-800-841-0300. That's 1-800-841-0300. Or send just $9.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to James Bond Video, P.O. Box 4670, Omaha, Nebraska. A few words on reading for success. Things are happening so fast right now that the business magazines are history. I need relevant information every day. Today's Wall Street Journal. Faster, tougher, smarter. Call 800-841-0300 for this special journal offer. 12 weeks for just $29.75 with a money-back guarantee. 12 weeks, $29.75. Call 800-841-0300 now for the Wall Street Journal. Uh, we hope that here on Sports Channel we've been able to communicate all fall to you what a special event and special sporting time it is in the fall at Notre Dame and there's certainly nothing like a football weekend at Notre Dame and we're ready now to honor someone who is going to win our first Sports Channel USA Today Notre Dame tailgate weekend. This person will be here next weekend to enjoy the Notre Dame SMU game and our winner is Doug Green in Oxnard, California a member of the class of 88 at Notre Dame and a former cheerleader here at Notre Dame. Doug will be here next weekend for his private tailgate including VIP tickets for the game between Notre Dame and SMU. And congratulations, Doug, from Sports Channel America and USA Today. We hope you enjoy the college football experience of a lifetime. We'll look forward to seeing you here at Notre Dame next weekend. Well, right now we still have a half of football remaining here. The Irish in control at halftime, 24-0 over Navy, but you can guarantee that Lou Holtz is making sure that his team takes absolutely nothing for granted. Let's take a moment now to visit the beautiful campuses of these two schools, beginning with the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis. United States Naval Academy, 
144 years of proud history, meeting the challenges of today and the promises of the future. Developing midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically as officers in the Navy and Marine Corps. With campus and computing facilities second to none, the academic program is among the best in the country, while providing professional, physical, and ethical training. The foundation for a demanding career in the modern naval service. The United States Naval Academy, providing the future leaders of our nation. If football is all you know about Notre Dame, you've got a lot to learn. Take Newt Rockney. Before he coached football, he taught chemistry. And he taught in the laboratory of a Notre Dame priest who discovered synthetic rubber. The tradition of research goes on today on campus in chemistry, in chemical engineering, and in many other fields. The pursuit of new knowledge is something we're proud of at Notre Dame. So the next time you see football, think chemistry. Go. And you know, at halftime, they have just finished honoring a gentleman who was a classmate of Newt Rockney's here at Notre Dame, the oldest, oldest living alum of the University of Notre Dame by the name of Ed Story, the class of 1911. He turned 100 years of age this past week, and Ed Story was just honored here on the field at halftime. That's unbelievable, isn't it? In fact, it was only last week that somebody dug up some of the old old time pictures and we had a picture of Rockney as a player here in his game uniform and those pictures were really something to see and also a picture of George Gipp maybe we can uh, get those up next week and show it to us. Yesterday Ed Story was talking about the time he tutored Rockney in chemistry unbelievable Notre Dame ran the ball Rockney would have been proud of this in the first half ran it in a dominant style first Notre Dame touchdown this is Tony Rice Tony Rice run, doing what he does best Runs this option, cuts back inside. Great block by Rodney Culver. He goes in standing up. Second touchdown. This time it is Rodney Culver. Yep, back in the eye. Watch. Straight up the middle. Look at the blocking. Look at Tim Grunhardt off the right side. And Rodney Culver keeps his balance and struggles in for his fifth touchdown of the year. And went from cornerback to fullback to tailback for the third Irish score. This a long run, 48 yards by Ricky Waters. And this is a great run, great blocking up front, too. He wasn't touched until he got to the secondary. And he makes three very good moves, Ted, cutting back against the grain. That's Steve Taza has a last shot at him, but he can't get him. And Ricky Waters goes in. This is his best half, best game of football so far. He, I think he's got a, 120 yards and six carries. As the Irish rolling up a 24-0 halftime lead. The first half stats and the kickoff come your way after we pause for a regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel America. On May 23rd of this year, the National Association of Cable Programmers bestowed its highest honor, the Ace Award, to TCI of Illinois for the year's best music series, The Pulse. to be part of your community. We've opened our doors at Ed Scott Toyota in Crystal Lake. Hi, I'm Scott Verdung, president of Ed Scott Toyota. We would first like to thank you for letting Ed Scott Toyota become a part of the communities. Ed Scott Toyota is dedicated in bringing you the finest automobiles from the most up-to-date service facility available. When you purchase a new Toyota or one of our fine pre-driven cars, you're guaranteed the lowest price possible and a commitment to service long after the sale. Ed Scott Toyota, a new beginning to a great friendship. Good morning, everyone. The forecast for today. Not only does Notre Dame rock up this uh, pretty impressive halftime lead, but they will get the ball to start the second half after winning the toss to begin the game and then deferring on the option. Notre Dame suiting up 97 players for today's game, and I would venture to say that we may see all of them the field before the game is over especially if they get the football here immediately and put seven points on the board as we take a look at the first half stats 15 first downs for notre dame seven for navy and look at the disparity in yards rushing and that's the key to the game 231 for the irish and 52 for navy 296 total yards only 96 for navy 
time of possession. Actually, Navy had control of the football, but uh, a lot is, is that is due to the running back scoring very, very quickly. A couple of long runs set up the touchdown for Notre Dame. Tough first half for Elliott Uzelak. A long halftime with that wind blowing. It's got to be cold afternoon on the sidelines. But you know something? Navy could still play in a bowl game. Of course, the service academy, one of the three service academies, must host the Liberty Bowl. Liberty Bowl. Bowl. That's right. Air Force would be the logical school, but if they win their conference, they must go to the Holiday Bowl. And if that happens, then the winner of the Army-Navy I mean, game, game That's right. will be the host team in the Liberty Bowl. Kickoff for Navy coming from Todd Peterson. And Ricky Waters is the deep back for Notre Dame. Now we've received no further word on Rocket Ismail, who suffered a groin injury in the first half. But again, just knowing the way Lou Holtz would operate, we'd have to think there's not much of a chance of seeing him again with this score. As twice now, the wind has blown the ball off the tee, and we'll get a holder for it. That strong wind blowing straight out of the south, and that is at the back of the kicker, Peterson, here. This one will be short, and Dewan Francisco will field it at the 20. And he's through! The Navy had two men back in safety positions, and Francisco is brought down at the 42-yard line of Navy. Juan Francisco, the senior from Cincinnati, brings it back. He beat the first wave here. Watch blocking up front. Oh, I tell you, what a hole. Big hole opened up, and Frisco, Francisco got through it. Actually, there were three, three men back in that safety position for Navy. Oh, a good kick return, a 38-yard run back. Juan Francisco and the Irish starting first down at the Navy 42 with Rice as the quarterback. Culver and Waters. And Tony cutting back. And Rice has another first down near the 30. Chris Cordero, the tackle. Here's an early score, first quarter. Michigan 7 nothing over Purdue. Alabama 7, Mississippi State zip. Clemson still with that 11-point lead over North Carolina. Second quarter, 5-3, to three, Boston College over Syracuse. Duke, a three-point lead over Wake Forest. Race now has carried five times for 33 yards. And a first down at the Navy, 31. Brought down after just a one-yard pickup. Ah, Michigan State playing at Indiana. It's a ten-point lead. I guess Spartans get a little bit tired of being kicked around. They, those are two teams that both hope to go to bowl games. Right. Yeah, it's a big game in the Big Ten. And Alabama game is huge every week. So remember, we tend to forget Alabama's still undefeated. Undefeated. They do have a crucial game though left in their schedule. Early December, Alabama still has a game at Auburn. Second down, nine, and the pitch goes to Waters. Good cutback by Waters, and he has a first down inside the 20 on a play that was strung out well to the short side. But Waters turns it into a first down game. Beautiful move by Ricky Waters. I really think he's comfortable now. Last year as a sophomore, Ted, I really didn't think Ricky Waters was comfortable as a running back. And boy, has he learned how to run this year. I think the sense of really making the right cut and his ability to go north-south a lot better this year. He realizes where those first down stakes are, and he really puts a little extra effort for that first down. But already 131 yards and looking to add to it. No, not there. Anthony Domino. You talk about a tough kid. Anthony Domino from Middletown, Delaware, has three pit bulls for pets. Boy, how's backfield. A little pitch around the left side. Rodney Clover got a good block, but Anthony Domino from the inside penetration got the tackle. 
for a loss on the play, and it's second and 13. That's a 23 of Navy. And let's see, Grace kept that football. Looks like he gave it to Culver, but he kept it. He was brought down by Bill Bowling. He's put it in on a lot of tackles from the inside linebacker spot for Navy. Now you're going to see Bill Bowling just, as soon as the fake to the fullback, Bowling was on top of him right here. Made a quick move. Tony Rice just couldn't get that pitch out to Ricky Waters in time. Third down. Third and 12. Crazy, Pollard man. is the only wide receiver in the game. And Rice is looking to throw for Derek Brown, but it's broken up. Would have been short of the first down. Derek Brown was open by the time the football got there on target. Good defensive move. And Bob Weisenfels right there, number 42. It was good. Hard hit by Weisenfels to break up that pass play. And now another field goal try for the Irish, Billy Hackett, who kicked one to end the first half. We'll try this one from 40 yards into the teeth of that win. He got good, strong leg into that one, and that is through easily. Good. I tell you, that's an impressive kick from really 40 is. yards into the wind. So the Irish take the second half kick, put three more on the board, and now lead 27-0 as we pause now for a regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel. Win big in the Gas City $300,000 Pro Football Challenge. Pick the winners. Best one and lost record wins the $10,000 cash weekly prize. Test your pro football knowledge every week. The 16 weekly winners go for the $100,000 Gas City Playoff Grand Prize. Fun! $100,000! Win $10,000 cash each week in the Gas City $300,000 Pro Football Challenge. $100,000! No big deal. Master Care Car Service. A wheel alignment. I've been there. They're alignment specialists. You want computers? Master Care is state of the art. Yeah, I want it to last. It's no big deal. Six months or 6,000 mile warranty. Now, what else do you want? My car to stop changing lanes by itself. No problem. No big deal. With over 50 Firestone Master Care Service Centers in Chicagoland, finding one near you is no big deal. Master Care Car Service by Firestone. Next week, Notre Dame football continues live on Sports Channel right back here at Notre Dame Stadium. The SMU Mustangs meet the Irish at noon Eastern exclusively on Sports Channel. And as always, the Sunday morning replay show. You'll see the game again Sunday morning at 10 Eastern right here on Sports Channel, your home for Notre Dame sports. Line drive kick by Craig Hendrick. That's a live football. And finally, B.J. Mason picks it up on the two-yard line runs it out to the 23 before going out of bounds. Very casually stepped out of bounds after we look at the Notre Dame scoring drive. We should mention a moment, one thing about that SMU game next week. A lot of people around the country, I've heard the comments say, now, why did Notre Dame drop SMU? This is their first year back from the death uh, penalty. And it should be stated, the facts of the case are that Notre Dame offered to let SMU out of its obligation to play this year. And SMU said, no, we want to play you this year. It's a great for our image. Too. And I think it's great. It's an old teammate of mine. I'm looking forward to seeing Forrest Gregg. And I want to tell you something. He will build SMU. He will bring them back. You watch. He's a good coach. Grizzard with a pitch to Purifor. Oh. Todd Light stops him in his tracks. Todd Light, number one. The junior from Flint, Michigan. Here comes the counter option. Pitches it back to Purifoy. Moultrie missed the block up there. Did he get hit? Watch this. Here's the pitch. Look at that number one. Todd Light on a great tackle. Now second down and ten. And they're really spreading that defensive line wide. And here's the pressure flushing out Grizzard. 
finally he is decked from behind and i'll tell you something you talk about pursuit it's zorich who makes the hit and zorich ran about 150 yards on that play to finally make the tackle and i tell you number 48 a sophomore from rialto california michael smalls misses the tackle and maybe it's just as good because he would have leveled Grizzard here. Watch number 48 just come flying by your zone here. Right there. Zorich on the stop finally. A great lesson there in pursuit as Zorich with a nose tackle all the way to the sidelines to make the hit. It's third and seven. He never quits on the play, Mr. Zorich. A little stunt going on up front. And a pass and a first down. Complete to Shane Smith at the 40-yard line. Senior from Portland, Texas with a first down catch. You see the stunt. You see Zorich go to the outside here. Good pass for Texas. Grizzard just steps up into the pocket. The man's wide open over the middle. Shane Smith for the first down. Notre Dame with some second team defensive players in there. Lou Holtz was not happy last week about the only thing he was unhappy with was how Pittsburgh moved the ball late in the game against the second and third team defenders. Now Grizzard flushed again and sacked. And that's Nick Smith. Freshman from Cincinnati making the play. Trying to get out to the right side. He's got plenty of time to throw the football. People up front. He has to scramble out. Now everybody's covered. Good coverage downfield. Nick Smith. Freshman from Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice side. 6'3", 225. And inside linebacker is a position Notre Dame is looking for depth at. A little thin at that position all year, and they'll lose Ned Bolkar to graduation. There's Grizzard throwing, and that's caught by Shane Smith, and he has a first down at the Notre Dame 45. On the inside of Scott Kolakowski. Good pitch that time by Grizzard. Showed us a good arm this time, Ted. Roll out left. Little half roll out. He comes back and goes to the weak side. You see it. The ball got right to the inside of Kolakowski. Good pitch. Shane Smith. He's a pole vaulter. He's six foot two. He's got pole vaults about 16 feet. He's going to try to spring to set an academy record in that event. And Grizzard gives it to Moultrie, and the fullback has good yardage before Terrell brings him down inside the 40. Nice sustained drive now that he's put on by the midshipman. Start off the second half here, Tim. Notre Dame put three points on the board with the field goal, and maybe look good offensively. They've got a mix in there defensively. Of course, unit defensively, but they've got George is in there, Alms in there. And B.J. Mason is back down short of the first down. And Davey's going to have third and short. <laughs> and if they don't get it, they'll have fourth and short, because they'll go for it. and he just gets mixed up. And right there, he, he trips, he slips, 
And then Chris Storich, as he's done a couple of times on the air, causes the fumble. Another angle. Watch Eric Simeon playing off the block and pushing. Look at the penetration that linebacker gets, and then he goes for the football. Eric Simeon on the recovery. And so Notre Dame in its first turnover of the game. The turnover is picked up, takes over, and Rodney Culver carries from the 39 and gains about two. So Anthony Johnson has not played at all in the football game. He did dress and came out to participate in the coin toss as tri-captain, but he has not played. Rocket Ismail has not played since the first quarter. Ned Volkart played a little bit more in the first half, I think, than many expected, but he probably finished for the day as well. Stan Magala did not play today, nor did Devon McDonald. He did not dress. Roll out draw. And Waters is out to about the 47. Until this past week, Paul has been remarkably injury free. Remember, he has played such a grueling schedule. Little fake to the fullback, and he rolls to his left, hands it off to Waters. He's got about six. The old bowling on the stop for Navy. I tell you, bowling's been all over the field, Ted. He's made a lot of tackles on the inside when he's inside linebacker spot. on the option and he'll get the first down and he is to the Navy 47 yard line. So Rice picking up another Irish first down. Okay, Barry. Rice is something when he runs this option, Ted, he's very unlikely to cause a turnover and when you run the option, when you have so much pressure on your quarterback to run this play all year long. the blocking here. Look at the hole. A little cross blocking here. You see the guard pull. Got the block. That's Tim Ryan. Comes from the offside. Beautiful blocking up front. Not only did not, has Rice, does Rice not turn it over, Paul, but he's carried over 120 times this year, taking a lot of hits. He doesn't get hurt. Sure. I've always said, quarterbacks, they always say quarterback, you can't run the option in the pros. I think that's ridiculous. Quarterbacks get hurt when they're standing back in that pocket and they shove seven and eight people after the quarterback is trying to tear their head off. They get hit from the blind side. They get knee injuries. But if you get a running quarterback in a professional football and he runs the option, it's less likely to get hurt running that option as he is dropping back into that pocket. I've always maintained that. Out after gaining first down yardage to the 31 of Navy. And Rice throwing it for Brown, and it is intercepted by Weisenfels at the goal line. Beautiful interception. Well, that's a big league play right there. Bob Weisenfels saves six points. The senior from Richmond, Washington. What a beautiful interception. Navy stops the Irish and takes over Notre Dame leading 27-0, 417 to play third quarter. Sports Channel America and USA Today will give some lucky winner a tailgate weekend for two when Notre Dame battles SMU. This dream weekend includes round trip airfare to South Bend, hotel, tickets to the game, and a privately catered pregame tailgate meal. To enter, put your name, address, and daytime phone number on a postcard and send it to the address on the screen. For more details, check out the Sports Corner in USA Today every Tuesday and Wednesday. Entries must be received by November 3rd. The winner will be announced at halftime of the Notre Dame Navy game November 4th on Sports Channel America. One of the great advantages of doing business with a firm like Schwab is that you're dealing with professionals across the whole country. They're creating financial advantages for the individual investor. Many companies reward their employees with stock options. That's why we offer an option financing service. It's flexible, convenient, and enables our customers to enjoy the full rewards they've earned. Our Schwab One account is a good example of how we give investors an edge. 
At other brokerage firms, it takes $20,000 to open an asset management account. At Schwab, it only takes $5,000. And we give daily interest on investment funds, check writing privileges, and a lot more. To me, one Schwab difference is very clear. Most brokers are good talkers. Schwab brokers are good listeners. For a free booklet describing Schwab services, call toll-free 800-841-0300. That's 800-841-0300. Well, Navy getting its second interception of the game, stopping the Irish from scoring on their last drive. And what a beauty it was. When you try to go deep, this is off of play action. He's trying to hit Derrick Brown down deep. You throw anything within the hash marks, 30... 35 yards. That free safety has got an excellent opportunity to come over with. Look at this interception by Weisenfeld. Richland, Washington stops Notre Dame. They bring it back to the 20. And Alton Grizzard from the eye will run a play, play fake pass. And that one tipped and still caught. And Kwame Moultrie is out close to a first down. Kwame's played well. I tell you. Well, somebody asked Moultrie, he's a freshman this week uh, in Annapolis, are you going to be intimidated going to play at Notre Dame Stadium? And the answer was, after you've been through a plebe summer <laughs> at the Naval Academy, nothing in football could intimidate you. The midshipmen, they keep plebe, you busy, don't they? They go in for seven weeks, what they call plebe summer. Here is Grizzard, and he'll get a first down on the option. The intent of plebe summer, plebe summer is seven weeks of intense which they say transforms a civilian into a midshipman. <laughs> they, can, they tell you, when you are going to the Naval Academy, they send you a booklet, and they tell you you can forget TV, forget right. movies, forget leisure time. You're... Something about them, they look so clean cut, don't they? Just amazing. And it's the same feeling. You know, you walk around West Point, you walk around Annapolis, walk around Air Force. I mean, you get that same feeling. There's Grizzard throwing it deep for Dawson, and Todd Light intercepts. Number eight on the year. And he's got a lot of room to run here. And it's Grizzard who runs him out of bounds. The quarterback, Alton Grizzard, runs Light out at the Navy 35. Todd Light's eighth interception gives ball, leading 27-0 as we pause Watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel. Since 1925, a lot of things have changed. Fads have come and gone. What's here today can be gone tomorrow. To succeed, you have to offer the best. I'm Dick Roto, and Roto Lincoln Mercury Mayor Corps Subaru has followed that philosophy for over 60 years. We've ridden the tides of change and continued to grow. You can depend on us for the best service, selection, and values. That's just the way we do things. At Roto, time has only made us better. We are here for you today and tomorrow. Roto Lincoln Mercury Mayor Corps Subaru on Rand Road in Arlington Heights. ESPN Sunday Night NFL is your ticket to football's hottest head-to-head -head rivalry. There's one great hit after another in a schedule jammed with key intradivisional matchups. The all-pro team of Mike Patrick and Joe Freisman bring you the head-to-head -head excitement of one of sports' great rivalries as the Cowboys face the Redskins when Sunday Night NFL returns November 5th at 8 Eastern live on ESPN. Colonial Chevrolet's all shifted him to the secondary, and he looks like a receiver on this ball. Yep. He's a great man in that defensive secondary. Look, and he goes up, does exactly what the coaches want. You want to make the interception at the highest point up there. Todd Light goes up, makes the interception. Number eight on the year. Ranked in the top five in the country. And this is Dorsey Levin taking the handoff for the Irish from Pete Graham, who is in a quarterback. Brought down by David Lurch at the Navy 28. Ted Robinson, Paul Horning at Notre Dame Stadium. The Irish lead 27-0. With two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. And fifth-year senior Pete Graham is the Notre Dame quarterback, the third of the game. And Levins gets a first down to the Navy 25. Bill Bowling on the tackle. 
him getting another year of eligibility at Notre Dame this year, helping out some depth. Kent Graham, of course, who was the backup to Tony Rice last year, transferred in the offseason. Ohio State. Gave the Irish an experienced backup. Movement up front by the Irish, and that will cost them five. Dead ball foul, illegal procedure, snap infraction, offense, five yard penalty. Holtz has been substituting quite literally the last seven or eight minutes now, and I think that's about all you'll see of Tony Rice, Ricky Waters, and the rest of that bunch. Rocket, by the way, is not coming back. We've been informed of that for sure. And here's a good run up the middle. Walter Boyd, the ball carrier for the Irish there. Walter Boyd, a sophomore from Hillsborough, North Carolina. Good quickness up front off the left side. Good blocking by Winston Sandry, the left tackle over there. And Walter Boyd comes up a couple of yards short of a first down. Picks up about eight. Second and two at the 17. A minute and a half remaining in the third quarter. And Bellis has a lot of room and then lost the football. And Navy has it at the 10 yard line. Boy, right, Bellis got flipped end over end and lost the football to turn it over. And Navy gets it back. Late in the third quarter, Notre Dame still leading 27 0. Kosar. Slaughter, the right combination. Then Boomer and Bo. The Bengals battle the Raiders and NBC football doubleheader Sunday. Long after the game is over, NBC Sports is still on the line. Dial 1-900-226-8000 for NBC Scores Plus. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Pool. Steve Miserak, the master. Pretty Boy Floyd, the hustler. Eva Mattia, the leading lady. Now come together to bring you the ultimate in pool instruction video. Pool, the master's way. Steve Miserak, the master. And three-time world champion reveals his secrets of eight ball, nine ball, and straight pool. And teaches you breaks, banks, angles, English, strategy, and more. Pretty Boy Floyd, the world's greatest hustler. Shares with you his magic cue ball control with the masse, the jump, the power draw. Becoming world champion was no accident. I've learned from past masters. Now I'm going to teach you what they taught me. But some secrets nobody knows but me. Take it from me, the Miz, the master. If you play pool, you must have this video. To order pool the master's way, use your credit card to call toll-free 1-800-841-0300. That's 1-800-841-0300. Or send $24.95 plus $350 shipping and handling to pool the master's way. P.O. Box 4670, Omaha, Nebraska, 68104. <laughs> Paul, that guy doesn't like turnovers. No, yes, two Notre Dame possessions have ended that way. Watch Steve Bellis here. He tries to jump right here, gets it up. Boy, he just got hit right. That was Bob Weisenfels again causing another turnover. He got that fine interception. Weisenfels, pretty good football player. We were told he was Navy's best, and he's proved it. And quarterback Alden Grizzard running for five on first down. The last four possessions in this game have ended in turnovers. Italy won in the whole first half, a well-played half. But here in the third quarter, each club has lost a fumble and thrown an interception. Notre Dame penalized offsides on that play, so it'll wipe out the running play and give Navy first and five at the 15th. 3 Clemson extending the lead over North Carolina. Clemson still with a faint hope in the ACC. Virginia and NC State are playing today, and that may be for the conference fumble. Title. There's a fumble on the handoff, and Notre Dame saying they have it, they do. Turn it right back. Troy Ridgely, sophomore, Baden, Pennsylvania, back up to Zorich at the nose tackle spot, recovers the fumble. into the fullback. That's Kwame. Never had the control of the football. And Troy Ridgely gets his first turnover. Oh, Ridgely. 
Bailey gets the fumble back, and Notre Dame takes over at the 16 with Rick Meyer back in on this series. As the quarterback, Ryan Mahalko and Dorsey Levins are behind him, and Levins gets the pitch. And Levins gets a couple of yards. They have a freshman quarterback, a freshman tailback, a freshman tight end, and a freshman wide receiver in the game right now. And these are true freshmen, all of them. Rusty Setzer checks in for Darcy Levins. Yep. Second and eight at the 14 in the final 30 seconds of the third quarter. Deep, deep drop to set a screen up for Mahalko. And he broke two tackles, broke a third one, and Mahalko fights his way down inside the 10. Did an excellent job to get to third and short, I'll tell you. He makes it third in about two yards, short yardage here for the first down. He was hit for about a yard loss. There you see the screen beginning to form. Now watch this. Right here, he steps back, beats that tackle. Number two, number three, four. He beat four tackles as we end the third quarter. Well, the Irish had a field goal in the third quarter and now lead 27 to nothing. You're watching Notre Dame football on Sports Channel America. Introducing Minivac, the amazing miniature cleaning system designed to take on hundreds of chores no ordinary tools can handle. Minivac cleans away dust from camera lenses, computer keyboards, figurines, or stereo equipment. Minivac's powerful motor vacuums away dust and dirt. It comes with two wand attachments, two ultra-soft brush nozzles, and a reusable vacuum bag. Keep one in the car for cleaning along the dash, steering column, stereo, ashtrays, and seats. Minivac is perfect for removing dust and debris from pictures, models, and those impossible-to-reach crevices. In this special television offer, you get Minivac with all five attachments, plus convenient storage case for only $19.95. Here's how to order. Credit card and COD customers call toll-free 1-800-841-0300 or save COD fees by sending $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Minivac, P.O. Box 4670, Omaha, Nebraska or call 1-800-841-0300. A few words on business and change. The pace is quicker, reaction time is a whole lot shorter. Our job is to help you anticipate, to keep you plugged in. Luckily, the journals are daily, so you don't have to wait till the end of the week to get the story. There's not a lot of fluff. You don't have time for it, and frankly, neither do we. Our new focus on the marketplace is one example of uh, ways in which the journal is changing. Our reporters look at the marketing and competitive aspects of every story. We're all competing globally these days, and it's pretty tough out there, but it's also very exciting. Business has changed, and so has the journal. Today's Wall Street Journal. Faster, tougher, smarter. Call 800-841-0300 for this special journal offer. 12 weeks for just $29.75 with a money-back guarantee. 12 weeks, $29.75. Call 800-841-0300 now for the Wall Street Journal. With Paul Horning, Ted Robinson back in Notre Dame Stadium. The Irish adding a field goal to their halftime lead start the fourth quarter with a third and two at the Navy eight-yard line. Walter Boyd and Darcy Levin to do it for Notre Dame along with Rick Meyer, the freshman quarterback. And it's Walter Boyd, and he has a first down to the two. Andy Kirkland on the tackle for Navy. playing about seven, eight different running backs in the game. I'm going to hand it off to Walter Boyd up front. Look at that blocky. Mirko Turkovic getting a great block up front. Right guard position. And you see every Notre Dame fullback carries the ball with two arms wrapped around it. That is taught here. Reggie Brooks, by the way, not playing in this game. Reggie Brooks sprained an ankle against Pittsburgh last week, and he is going to miss this week and next week in all likelihood. First and goal here at the two. And it is Levins in for his first Notre Dame touchdown. Side. You look 
Brandon Impal, the way he's built, you think he's going to be a, carrying the ball a lot of times before he's through here. That's right. I was watching Lou Holtz as we were doing that replay. He went all the way down to the 20 yard line and met Darcy Levin. And he came off with his first touchdown. He had a hold of that football, too, as a souvenir, congratulating his young freshman running back. And Craig Hendrick puts through the extra point. So 22 seconds into the fourth quarter, Notre Dame now leading 34 to nothing as we pause for a regional break. You are watching Notre Dame football live on Sports Channel. Ever wonder why more people are shifting to Chevy? <laughs> Broncos. What are you city slickers doing in the woods? We're bears. bears. Shoot. You boys will never learn! Hit it! Unlike the Ford Bronco, with Chevy Blazer, you don't have to stop and back up to shift from four-wheel drive high to two-wheel drive. You simply shift on the fly. Hey, we're really clipping along! Clipping? Don't say clipping. On one day each year, the world's best horses come to one track to compete in seven championship races for $10 million. That day is the Breeders' Cup. See Kentucky Derby champion Sunday Silent battle Belmont winner Easy Goer in the race of the year, the $3 million Breeders' Cup Classic. The Breeders' Cup. Watch it live this Saturday. Check local listings for the time and station in your area. Now, Notre Dame, after the short touchdown drive following a fumble recovery, takes the lead 34 0 on Dorsey Levin's first collegiate touchdown. He still won it with two arms wrapped around the ball. Notre Dame going for their first shutout of the year. They have yet to shut out an opponent. Pittsburgh got seven points, Purdue got seven. Everybody else has scored at least a touchdown against Notre Dame. Time of possession now, evening up. Notre Dame, 21 and a half minutes. Navy still with a minute and a half edge in that category, and that's the only category, though. Greg Hendrick to kick off. B.J. Mason is now the deep back in a threesome. And that one is out of bounds prior to crossing the goal line, so Hendrick will have to re-kick. Not only has Notre Dame not had a shutout this year, they have never had one in Lou Holtz's tenure here. Came down to the final 40 seconds against Purdue this season before they scored a touchdown. Shipman sideline for Elliott Uzelak. You know, everybody that I seem to talk to, you know, just builds that momentum up. The steamroller just keeps on rolling to that last game against the University of Miami. It's hard not to really think about it because everybody I talk to, you know, they say, Paul, you got any tickets for the Miami game? Or what do you think about the, you know, Miami meeting Notre Dame at home? You know, pressure builds every week or something like that. You have to look forward to it. After kicking out of bounds, Hendrick drives this one over Dawson's head. He makes a nice catch near the goal line. And Jerry Dawson has a lane. And he is out across the 40. And out of bounds at the Navy 43. So a nice run back by Jerry Dawson. And nice catch. Nice return. Jerry Dawson over, over the shoulder catch. Right at the goal line. And Dawson returns it. 43 yards here. That's Juan Francisco shoves him out. So Navy will start at their 43. And the danger about the situation with the Notre Dame supporters looking so much ahead to the Miami game is that the game the preceding week is right. going to be almost as tough, if not tougher, the Penn State game. At State College in cold temperatures and a good team. The midi shift back into his eye. Pure boy, the deep back. And Grizzard pitches to him. Greg Davis strings it out and runs Pure boy out after he gains about three, four yards. Great 
self-discipline that any player who plays in one of the service academies oh, yeah. develops is what helps them get through a game like this. Last three, or in fact all three Davy possessions of the second half have ended in turnovers, two fumbles and an interception. Oh, and there's a big hit. By Junior Bryant. And he's another freshman. Extremely well thought of freshman from Omaha. There's a three back. And to the left half back of Junior Bryant beating block. That's the pass of the running back boy. Nothing to do there. Just trying to hold on to the football. You know about the touchdown club of Atlanta. You know all about that. They named Junior Bryant number one lineman in the nation last year. TV this fall, Showtime has it. HBO doesn't. Showtime also has Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. HBO doesn't. Showtime has Red Heat. My stepmother is an alien. HBO doesn't. The fact is, only Showtime has exclusive rights to these and lots of other top box office hits. Showtime exclusives. Here you see them, there you don't. This big bass is hiding in thick weeds. What lure would most pros use to tempt this trophy bass? I'm Ray Scott, and if you want to learn more about catching bass in any situation, then join the over half million members of bass who are enjoying fishing success. Helping you to become a better bass fisherman is what we're all about. As a member, you get 10 big issues of Bassmaster magazine packed with how-to articles. In each issue, you'll fish beside bass and greats like Danny Breyer, Jimmy Houston. Plus, you'll learn the swimming spoon is one of the best lures for bassing in thick weeds. So join bass today. Call toll-free now, and you'll get your free gift. Call 1-800-841-0300 to join bass. In addition to 10 big issues of Bassmaster and full membership credentials, you'll get a free tackle pack including auger tail worms, Berkeley trilene line, man's baby one minus lure, and the free book Bass and Magic. That's 1-800-841-0300. We'll gladly bill you. Due to the overwhelming response to the tailgate weekend for the SMU game, Sports Channel America and USA Today are going to give away another one for the Miami game. At the Orange Bowl, November 25th. To enter, put your name, address, and daytime phone number on a postcard. Send it to that address. For more details, look in the Sports Corner in USA Today, Tuesday and Wednesday. And you may win a tailgate weekend. What a great weekend that could be at the Orange Bowl. Here's Peter Graham for Notre Dame pitching to Rusty Setzer. And he runs it out across the 20. And Syracuse now with the five-point lead. They take control. Duke 24, Wake Forest 14. Michigan State now with the 11-point lead over Indiana, halftime. Here it's early fourth quarter, Notre Dame leading 34-0. And Peter Graham is the Irish quarterback, and he gives it to Walter Boyd. And the Irish will have a third down and short yardage play at about their 24-yard line. Need a long two. Tony Rice today, nine carries, 50 yards, one touchdown. He was one completion in eight attempts for only 28 yards, two interceptions today. But, of course, they use him sparingly. They really didn't need Tony. He's been averaging 182 yards, Teddy, offensively. 
consistently each ball game. And this, of course, was a blowout early. Dorsey Levin's on the pitch, and he doesn't get there. Good tackle. Anthony Domino made the hit for Navy, and they knocked Levin's down short of a first down. Domino, good reactions. We see Anthony Domino a quick pursuit three or four occasions a day. There he is, Anthony Domino, the junior. He'll be back for Navy. So for the first time in the football game, Notre Dame is going to punt. Coming here in the fourth quarter. Boy, what a year this kid has had kicking the football. There it is, 45.6. He's got the wind in his back. If he gets a hold of this one, he'll drive it. He'll deep. Navy rushing 10, and Hendrick just blasts a line drive. A low one that is fielded by Lurch. And without any blocking, he runs it back as far as he can to a 34-yard line. Demetrius Dubose down on the tackle. 49-yard punt by Hendrick. And so Navy takes over 10.55 remaining in the game. Kickers always tend to get together. There's Hendrick, the first guy to talk to him on the sideline, Billy Hackett. Billy Hackett. With Paul Horning, Ted Robinson at Notre Dame Stadium, the midshipmen taking over at their 35-yard line following a punt. It's first and 10, Notre Dame leading 34 to nothing. And Elton Grizzard's pass is batted up in the air and falling to the ground incomplete, but Brian Radigan, a freshman from Council Bluffs, Iowa, did a juggling act and almost came up with the interception. Three receivers out. He throws it right into the hands of Rennigan. Almost an interception here, even on the juggling. There he is. He was the player of the year in the state of Iowa last year. You can imagine that the Hawkeyes wanted him pretty badly. And Grizzard being pressured by Troy Ridgely into a sack. So showing good ability to get penetration not only on this play, but a couple others. Troy Ridgely on the sack. It's only a sophomore from Baton, Pennsylvania. Here he comes on the inside. He gets rid of his block, grabs a hold of Blizzard, and gets the sack. And now Navy facing third and 12 at their 33. No first team defensive players left in for the Irish Hall. Youngsters getting a chance to play. There's a blitz coming, and Grizzard throws it out. It's tipped and caught by the tight end, Dave Bergholt. But George Corman brings him down along with Greg Davis. They stop him short of the first down. Well, Bergholt's going to come up short. He's going to have to punt. There it is again. Good pass rush coming in from the back side. Could have been a sack right there. Grizzard should not have thrown the football. Could have been very lucky to have that completed, actually. So on fourth down and four, Triplett will punt. This is his sixth punt of the game. And Waters lets it bounce. And will be down inside the 20-yard line. So he settled into a very quiet mode here in the fourth quarter. Notre Dame leading 34-0 as we pause for a regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football live on Sports Channel. We've opened our doors at Ed Scott Toyota in Crystal Lake. Hi, I'm Scott Verdung, president of Ed Scott Toyota. We would first like to thank you for letting Ed Scott Toyota become a part of the communities. Ed Scott Toyota is dedicated in bringing you the finest automobile to the most up-to-date service facility available. When you purchase a new Toyota or one of our fine pre-driven cars, you're guaranteed the lowest price possible and a commitment to service long after the sale. Ed Scott Toyota, a new beginning to a great friendship. The forecast for today, hot and sunny. Whoa, here's a weather update. Big thunderstorm system moving in with temperatures dropping. Revised forecast, the rain is going to change to snow. Do you know, you there's an old saying in the Midwest, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. With weather that unpredictable, you need Alltalk to keep your heating and air conditioning system in good working order. For year-round comfort, choose Alltalk Industries, where excellence is never compromised. 
Notre Dame Live here on Sports Channel SMU in Notre Dame at noon Eastern. And as always, you'll see the replay show Sunday morning at 10 Eastern on Sports Channel. Our game today being produced by Paul Carlson and directed by Brian Seip. And the Irish starting first down with Rusty Setzer getting the ball and getting perhaps another first down starting from the Notre Dame 19 with Meyer quarterbacking on this series. And Rusty Setzer from Gary, Indiana. He's another, talk about speed on this team. He's a sprinter on the Notre Dame track team, the indoor track team. Yeah, Paul Digger talked about it at halftime. He's got more speed on his basketball team, and mm -hmm. that's been the biggest change in the 80s for Notre Dame football. has been the introduction of much more speed. Levins and gets good, good ground coverage there out across the 35. Speed at the skill positions, both on offense and defense for Notre Dame. Such a major difference. It really is. And they've got a lot of speed. I guarantee that. Darcy Levens is not uh, not the slowest of, of people either. I'll tell you, he's playing out of the eye. And if this kid can run, we're going to see a lot of him in the future. Rick Meyer throwing it out, and that's a completion to Irv Smith. That's his first catch, isn't it? Second. He had one in the kickoff catch. class. That's right. <laughs> So Rick Meyer with a completion to Irv Smith and the ball at the 43 of Notre Dame and that's a first down. Buddy Rice played about a half of this game. He played a quarter and a half in the first half and then the first part of the third quarter. So it's been a good day for Rick Meyer as far as getting a lot of snaps and a lot of playing time. And he'll just put this down, gain some yardage and get out of bounds picks up about three yards. Tough thing for a freshman quarterback to come in here at Notre Dame. Lou Holtz, in this, he has one of the biggest playbooks in football, the biggest one that he's had offensively as a coach. He says, you know, he figures a young man who gets into school here at Notre Dame can handle it. Well, he's got the eye. You know, he runs the uh, passing offense. He does have the drop back. He runs a full house backfield. He's got reverses off of it. He runs the option series, a counter option. Uh, there's a good play on the counter to Levens. And Dorsey Levens is inside the Navy 35. What a 20-yard pickup for Dorsey Levens off the left side. Good blocking again. A trap. Winston Sandry getting a good block. And Dorsey Levens doing the rest down the left, left corner. And a 21 yard pickup there by Levens. And it's at the Navy 33 with 747 remaining. And Walter Boyd. And Walter Boyd put that head down and ran over a few people. He's inside the 25. Run like that, they like contact. And as Ted pointed out, both hands around that football. Who holds when he gets ahead of a team like this won't throw the ball an awful lot. And when he does throw, and Myers on a couple of shorter passes, safe passes. Another question I've heard a lot the last couple of weeks, Paul, I'm sure you have too, is, you know, what's Notre Dame going to do against SMU? I guarantee you they won't do what Houston did. I, I think you'll see the same type of football game, same kind of a game plan that we're witnessing here today. You know, Notre Dame can run the football. They proved it against the number one ranked Russian defense in the country, and that was USC at the time. They ran for, what, 250, and then came right back against Pitt last week, ranked number nine in the country, and ran it for 300. Boyd gets it again, and on first down, he gets about three. Dave Olson on the tackle for Navy. And it's a long year. A lot of these football players have put in long, hard 
practices and haven't seen too much action yet, Ted, and this is a great opportunity for Lou Holtz to not only get a good look at some of these young football players, but give them a little bit of a reward for, you know, staying out there those long, hard days and nights and practicing and not getting any playing time. Oh, they, all over that play, they smelled that one out, and it was Scott Carson who came up from the secondary to dump 11 for a loss of a couple. With third down and almost ten. There's the first ten, a good penetration by the Navy defense. Notre Dame with third, and we'll call it third and ten from the 19 yard line. Out of the eye with Boyd in front of Levens. And Meyer throws and open is Adrian Gerald, and he is down. reception of Adrian Gerald's collegiate career. A little post pattern over the middle. So Notre Dame with the ball first and goal at the two. Having brought a, completed several shorter passes in addition to running the ball well to get down to this point. And nope, Rusty Setzer didn't make it. Sets are trying to go over, and Bo Lasky, the linebacker number 45, stuck him right back. Good defensive play here by the midshipman defense. They don't want Notre Dame to put any more points on the board. He tries to go up and over. But no, no. Well, it's second and goal, 450 to play in the game. Notre Dame safely now with their School record tying win tucked away, and they get another touchdown. Going in to score it is Ted McNamara in his first carry. A senior from Dallas, Texas, and Ted McNamara with his first carry of the year scores the touchdown. I bet he's not going to give up that football either. He got in off the left side. And he wants that football as a super. That's a thoughtful coach. Here's a kid who's been out here for four years in practice. Right. And Lou Holtz giving him a chance to treasure something. Another name touchdown. As Hendrick boots the point through. And so it is 41 to nothing. Notre Dame with four minutes and 40 seconds remaining. And now Notre Dame. This two-year team will end here. Something that I've never seen before. There's two number 20s down here going down on the kicker. No, they took out one. Lamar Gilry and Rod Smith. Lamar Gilry and Martin Scruggs. Two number 20s for Notre Dame. Thought they were both going to go down on the kickoff. And Mason downs it for Navy. People say, now why, we, why could that be? Well, when you suit up as many players as Notre Dame has for this game, you will often right. see duplicate numbers issue. 97 Notre Dame players in uniform today. And I would venture to say most all of them will set foot on the field at one time or another. The 21 consecutive wins, tying the Leahy teams of 46 through 48. Those teams, though, in fairness, did have a 37-game unbeaten streak. Unbeaten streak. They went on to win 15 more after they were tied. Now, Gary McIntosh in a quarterback for Navy, and he runs the option pitching to Purifoy, and he's brought that after a short game. So next week... Against SMU, Notre Dame will try to claim for this current team record on their own. The last Notre Dame loss was the Cotton Bowl game, January 1st, 1988, when they lost to Texas A&M. The last loss at Notre Dame Stadium was to Penn State in 1986. It was almost three years without losing a game here. McIntosh on the out to Dawson, who makes a diving grab at the 28. I would imagine that tonight when Lou Holtz 
at home and has a chance to relax for a little bit and unwind after this game. He may take a glance at what Colorado and Nebraska well, have done so. today. Yes, sir. And Navy does not get the first down on a handoff inside. The running back, Don Ferraro, stacked up short of the first down. they're going to do. They might go for it here. Well, it's a lot of blue jerseys. They come up one yard short, and maybe we'll go for it. And with 2.55 remaining in the clock running, there's uh, that's use and punting here for Navy. So out of the wishbone, they'll go for it. They need a full yard here. And McIntosh. Well, he could have kept it and gotten it, and I think by pitching it, he didn't get it. Mason run out. He did not make it. McIntosh had the first down himself. And then he pitched back and lost it. And so another name will take over on downs. 2.41 to play as we pause for a regional break. You're watching Notre Dame football live on Sports Channel America. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, updated constantly, absolutely free. When you need a score, call Caesar Sports at 641-3700, the score line of Chicago. That's 641-3700 for professional or college games, along with final or partial scores. Fast, free, with in-progress updates. Just call Caesar Sports at 641-3700, day or night. That's 641-3700 when you need to know the score. Gleason, you have so many dealerships now, even I've lost track of them. Tell the people where they are. Gleason, the Chevrolet store is on Roosevelt Road in Forest Park. The Ford store is on... Adrian Gerald, the week before the Air Force game, he imitated Dee Dallas on the Notre Dame scout team. football players in there would love to score a touchdown, you know, whatever. But Rusty sets her in there. Walter Boyd, Pete Graham. No coach going to complain about you running the football. No, sir. He won't see Notre Dame passing. As we're in the final minute. And Graham running the option, pitching it to Setzer, and he does not get there. Run out of bounds around the five-yard line. doing Navy a favor. They keep the clock running. <laughs> That's called mercy. And on fourth down and goal, Notre Dame will go for it. And it'll be the last play. They'll mark it actually at the seven-yard line.
think this week will be a happy week of practice because everybody got in today, but it's also going to be a bit of an emotional week for Lou Holtz because next Saturday, his first recruiting class will play its last game here. It's different Sorry. when you're watching the kids you recruited. It's going to be a special game for me to watch, you know, when I'm watching my old ex-teammate, Forrest Gregg, who's the coach of SMU. The McIntosh almost going down for a safety and just throws up a dirigible that is intercepted by Sean Davis. Sean Davis. The sophomore gets the interception on the game's final play. And Lou Holtz and his 1988-89 Irish team. in Notre Dame history. 21 consecutive victories. Notre Dame remains the number one team in the country. They have been that way for more than one calendar year now. They assumed number one after beating Navy last October. And the Irish are winning it today easily. Notre Dame wins 41 to nothing as we now pause for a regional break. Chevrolet's Uncle Joe Lesniak and Lee Vince create a more perfect union with your trade.